All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? The social guy's back at you. What's going on, dude? Social guys. Not not much, Trey. How you doing, man? We got the, we're sporting some Buckeye gear today because we Every have OH. Doby coming back on the show. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll so, be fun. We're gonna talk. Uh, we're talk some playoffs, man. Can't believe we know a Michigan fan. Uh, you know, I've, I know. I know a lot of them. I, I mean, I do too. I just try to ignore them. Uh, so, me and Doby made a bet last year on this show. I, you told me. I paid up. He has the picture. We'll show the picture tonight. Um, so he's coming back on the show. We're gonna talk playoffs. We're gonna talk playoffs. playoffs. We're gonna talk playoffs, but maybe more exciting than that. Why don't you tell the folks what we're gonna be doing with the beer? Yeah, so we have a blind tasting of craft beer tonight. This was um, shockingly not my idea. It was Treg's idea, and I think it's the best idea you ever had. I'm very excited. <laughs> very, very excited. So we have four beers. I wrap these up, um, but I don't remember what the beers actually are because I did this a while back. Yeah, so we might not be drinking the same today. beer at like the same time. No, we definitely won't be unless we all pick the tall can. Obviously, the tall can I think is we very similar. We start there. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. We, yeah, yeah. So should be should be uh, should Pumped be interesting up. though. But yeah, we'll talk Buckeyes. We'll talk Michigan. We'll talk the playoffs. Uh, you know, TCU Georgia's in there right in the mix as well. Mm-hmm. So um, and Michigan did beat us in it's true regular season this year. It's so true. as well as last year. Yeah. So I'm sure we're going to talk a little bit about that too. Yeah, so. no kidding. Uh, well, twice in a decade, I, I can find a way <laughs> to live with myself with that. <laughs> so obviously, you know. We know we know Collins not a huge huge football fan, but he is a big Buckeye fan. I, you know, I can I, Ohio State football is one of two athletic events that I can work up some serious care about. Yeah, uh, just caught, I was I went to Ohio State, caught me at the right time. Right. my freshman year is when we won the national championship. That is oh, nice. pretty hard to get out of your system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a big time. It was, yeah, a big time. it was a hell of a time. All right, cool. Hey, with that being said, let's get the show rolling. 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 Hey, welcome back to the show, Social Guys. As always, brought to you by Reigns Management Group. Doby, welcome back, man. We're here. We're What's doing happening? it. Why, why are you guys smiling? <laughs> <laughs> we like you most of the time. What do you mean? So, we smile? Uh, you? I just feel like that, that there's going to be a big joke. Oh, there's not a big the, uh, no. I, w- I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke, Diet Dr. <laughs> <All right>. Pepper. <laughs> That'd be a little bit funny, everyone. but it'd be pretty obvious. <laughs> uh, all right. There One, maybe a Dr. Pepper. I'm not. <laughs> okay. No, thanks for having me. I'm glad yeah. to be back. Yeah. So um, we, I, I owned up to the bet. You did. You Man got, of your word. You got the picture. I, I didn't did. come over. We were, I was running around with my parents. You know Refresh how that goes. I know how that goes. Bet. So what's that? Refresh people on your bet. You told me about it. but Yeah. Oh, oh, refer- okay. So the bet was was that uh, the loser of last year's game for this year's game had to wear uh, the opposing team's jersey for the game day. Um, so I did that. It's hardcore, rough, man. man. That is hardcore. Especially <laughs> if, you, if he would have went to like Columbus or something. Oh gosh, you would have got abused. You know how close I was to going to the game see, too. See, I, I, that wouldn't have been safe. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen anybody get like. Well, you're hanging wrong, <laughs> with the wrong people because I have. You have? Okay. Not me personally. But okay. Yeah. A guy I know him and a girl got it on. Oh, <laughs> a guy. A guy. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Fair him, enough. And, well, him especially and, after a loss, I would say it would not be. Uh, you know, before <laughs> before the game, I would guess it's fine. Like after the game, uh, that might be the dangerous time. Yeah. Like if, uh, coming off a loss, wearing a Michigan jersey, mm-hmm. walking around Columbus. Here's the worst part about it. It didn't fit. Like, it was, like, two sizes too small. Toby's jersey didn't fit you. That's <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't his jersey. I, I bought one. Bought oh, okay. One. But it was literally, because that was part of the bet. You had to go buy the jersey. Okay. He could custom make it, whatever he wanted. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and I didn't have, actually. You put fuck this on the back of yeah, it. I don't know what I, So, I didn't actually get mine uh, embroidered yet. I was waiting to get that done locally. And, um, Wait, really? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Support so, local. Come on, so man. it was uh, well, I'm the embroidery. <laughs> exactly, part. exactly. What are we getting on it? So like, so oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Got done at Lima Sporting Goods. So I actually had to write what I wanted on there though, and I duct taped it to the jersey, <laughs> and it said Laurenitis owns this. Yes. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. In that's... reference to the picture of Laurenitis over, who was that? Was that Mike Hart? Uh, Laurenitis. Was it? I don't remember. They, they all run together. Eighteen yeah. out of twenty years, yeah. getting, I think your, was, I think getting was, your ass kicked by High State. They all just. I think it was my cart. I'm pretty sure it was. there was one. Was it Bourne standing over Devin Gardner? There's that yeah. one. Oh, I forgot about that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. It is pretty hardcore, though, man. I, I don't know if I could make a bet like that. I'm, I'm not prepared to pay you know, up if well, I lose. Well, the bet, uh, at first, I was trying to say, let's do a tattoo. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> he said, holy oh, shit. Out. <laughs> That's hardcore as fuck. What, are you kidding me? How much have you had to drink when you made that bet? I didn't want to do the bet. I didn't. I said, but if we're going to do this, let's up it to... The, the winner gets to pick when you get aware. So I'm thinking like Moonfest, you know, yeah. there's a oh, lot God. of people wow. around, you yeah. know, a wedding or something. Christmas. That, Christmas. <laughs> and then I just said to hell with it next year's game. Yeah. So, yeah. But he owned up, so it, he's a I'm, good sport. I'm impressed. I, I, I am impressed. I, I, that's more hardcore than any bet. I, I think feel like I'd that's why we lost. <laughs> because I well, was not sporting. Do again, I, don't don't fucking we're going to make a bet on this show, right? <laughs> for, no, the, for the no. national Shut championship. Up, <laughs> well, we can't yet because we oh don't know what's... Oh, my God. Uh, we'll be there. I don't know about you guys. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, that's uh, that brings up a very good question, though. Ohio State versus Georgia is coming up. What As a Michigan fan, how do you see that game playing out? I just want Georgia. Yeah? I don't want to play Ohio State again. My heart can't take that. Really? Not twice. That's, that's exactly, interesting. That's exactly what I said. I'm like, <laughs> it's not because I think Michigan have a better chance against Georgia. Yeah. Because they're obviously Georgia's Georgia. But I don't have – I mean, it's hard enough to beat Ohio State once. Yeah. Yeah. Let alone twice. For either team, and, it's it's the best thing that could ever happen or it's the worst thing that yeah, could ever happen. And exactly it's just, right. you got to see how it goes. Like, at, you know, Ohio State – beats Michigan in the championship game like I you know we go from like zero to hero we're feeling amazing at you know Michigan beats Ohio State twice in one year for the national championship like best year in Michigan in like a long fucking time yeah mm-hmm. uh, you yeah. know but for the losing team just just yeah. shit no, for hey, fucking let's, year. let's get into one of these real quick before oh. we keep oh. going I mean are we just starting with the tall start let's do start with the tall start with the tall oh, we all start What do you smell? Let's pour it out and smell again. Something a little tart. I'm not going to pour the whole thing in here right now. Same. Kind of, what the f- <laughs> He said, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the beer expert, man. I, I'm not going to. You got the. Aaron Holtz come in here got, and like do the like, oh yeah, this is uh, <laughs> Pretty sure this is from Sam Adams, uh, 2013, uh, you know, their winter collection. Did you taste it already? No, I haven't. I was waiting on you. I mean, you guys know the names of them. I don't. Actually, I, don't. I don't, don't know the no. name. I, he, he, this Are was you Trey's unwrapping idea? after you pour or what? You know. we, we can. This after was you, Trey's idea. The first he step, wrapped them all up. Uh, like, I am as blind in here as you are, man. I blind swear. Blind as a bat. I mean, it's got I think, like a spicy kick to it. Yeah. Well, that's the hops. I think it's an IPA. Is it? Did you buy IPAs? <laughs> Did you? Buy? I don't know. I told you I'm not good at this. <laughs> Wait, you don't remember what you bought? I mean, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff, dude. <laughs> All leftovers from your last party. <laughs> yeah. It's just beer. This got it. left there. This. Is- Hodgepodge of everything. The like two keystones have been kicking around oh. the back of your fridge for like three years. Like, yeah. yeah. I told you though, it's light. It's, it's not. Light. It's not bad. It doesn't have like a it doesn't have like a, a definite taste for me, and that's why I don't know if it's an IPA. I feel like it should be hoppier. I mean, is it just a? Ri- you want to unwrap it? I don't. It's okay. I don't love it. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead and unwrap it. I don't. I kind of don't know what to say about it. It's, it's like Christmas all over. Jalapeno India Pale Ale. All right. <laughs> okay. Jalapeno. It that's the that's the funky Yeah, that's that spice. It. But it's also why it's not hoppier. They're just spice in there Kobe. drowning it out. Actual spice in there drowning it out. Huh. Oh, you mean that you think the spice drowns out the hops? A little bit. Huh. Interesting. A little bit. I don't know. It uh, it's interesting. Yeah, by Masterhead Cleveland Brewing Company. Masthead. Masthead. Yeah. I had their, uh, I believe they make a coffee stout that I had maybe last year that I liked pretty decently. I yeah. have not, I'll tell you what, I've not had this before. Um, I've heard of the brewery, uh, didn't, not, not picked up the jalapeno not IPA. Heard of either. <laughs> Fresh jalapenos, fruity notes, man, selected American grown hops. He can read. 
Can you believe it? <laughs> Can shit. you believe Is it? Is that part of the, like, on the application? <laughs> Can you read? No. It's 100% <laughs> Can not part of the application. I was actually going to ask you the other day, like, hey, how do I do reading the, uh, <laughs> reading the uh, articles? Do I read, like, okay? Is that, Am I too fast? Oh, you're good. Am I good? All right. I'm just making sure. All right. <laughs> you got it. Are you thinking you got to dumb it down for I me? I don't know. Because I might. No. <laughs> Why don't you ask the language arts teacher? No, right, right, right. Yeah, we'll see how you do. With but you're the you're you're like a utility teacher though anymore, aren't you? No, language you, arts. I thought you've taught like many different. Things. I did. I did run a um, digital academy. Okay, the, okay. Uh, the Light Opportunity School for five, six years. So that was every subject, and then gotcha. I've been back in the language arts the last three years. So gotcha. gotcha. You're 19 overall. Okay. Well, then you can grade me today. Yeah. <laughs> On a curve. <laughs> that sounds good. I was raised by a language arts teacher. I've been getting graded for a long time. <laughs> that is true. So um, let's get back to the, the, these playoffs coming up here, though. So what's what's a, what do you hear a lot from? Because you got Ohio State friends too. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you hearing from those guys? Oh, we don't even want to be there. We don't want to get blasted by Jordan. I'm like, yeah, you do. You want to get to the playoff because once you're there, oh, yeah, you anything do. can happen. Who fucking said they don't want to go? They're, well, I think deep I will down, admit you to being want nervous. to be there. Yeah, deep down, but you're never. You never say like, well, I don't. I'll admit I don't want to see us get blasted by Georgia. I don't want to see us get blasted by Georgia. I think it's a good matchup for Ohio State. I'm going to tell you right do. now. I think there's a reason why TCU didn't fall. Tell I want to say that. What is it? What's because it? they want Ohio State, Michigan in the, in the final. Oh, I'll tell I'll tell you what. I It'd mean, be great. It would be, be for, it, think about the ratings on that. <sighs> this exactly. State, both prices. of the states exactly. come you think off. Think anybody gives a shit if Georgia and TCU make it? No. No. I, I don't know how much the rest Although of the Max country Dugan is going to care, dog. but like this mm-hmm. state is going to come off the fucking chain. Like I'm here to tell you, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to work for like four days after that, win or lose. Like I don't know which one, but like I'm, t- I'm just taking that week off. It's going to be like there. Ace Ventura in his hotel room, <laughs> <laughs> just washing with bleach. Yeah, it, win or honestly, I think I, mean, I think I need more time off if we lose. Honestly. <laughs> The championship game. Winkle is Einhorn. Your gun is digging into my hip. (laughs) Einhorn is Finkel. Einhorn is a man. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, the first movie that really threw Chance Gender out there. (laughs) If you think about it. I never actually saw it. Never saw Ace Ventura? No. That that should have been on the application. No kidding. I, I keep telling you. You never I'm saw, you never saw Road Trip either. Yeah. You have homework over the weekend before <laughs> yeah, you watch these homework. playoff games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, true story. I'm off true Monday. Story. There you go. There, there you go. go. Yeah. No, it would be, I mean, it's not like we don't have the pieces. Uh, you know, we just got to be firing on all cylinders to get it done. Because Georgia is, and we've not, not once all year, I wouldn't say. Mm-hmm. You know, even the games were, that we won, which is obviously all but one, um, Don't get me wrong. Georgia looks good. Their defense is really good. Um, they've looked vulnerable though this season. I just don't. Yeah, who they? Kent State, Missouri, that's Kentucky. Right. Yeah, yeah. They barely. I mean, they, I just, they're beatable. What? I don't know. I think so too. I'm just I'm not saying sure we, faith, we didn't have it together when we were playing Michigan. I I'm not know, sure the faith that I have in their quarterback. You talking about Georgia? Yeah, Stetson, Stetson Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I, I, he's like he's a fifth year senior who's not. He's not even remotely close. To having like a draft profile, like he's not getting drafted, he'll surprise the hell out of you though. Because I thought the same thing. I, last I agree. Year, and all of a sudden he's just dropping dimes against Michigan. I'm like, who is this? Guy? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Who is this 40 year old? <laughs> well, they went back. And, <laughs> yeah. Well, they went back and forth with him and JT Daniels. Right. And JT's where now? He's, he's going somewhere else. Yeah, he UCLA. I can't keep up with him in I his career. Remember. Yeah. I don't know. He's I somewhere. did hear an interesting stat today. Uh, watching Big Sam Cat. Hartman's going to Notre Dame. I did see that. I did see that. Wait, Georgia defense, I would surprise you, is they're like average in the statistics wise in forcing mm-hmm. turnovers. Yeah. So they don't force a lot of turnovers. Or do they get after the quarterback? They they're like midway, halfway down in the sacks really? uh, category. Well, they lost Jordan Davis. True. Trayvon Walker. But like they're not getting pressure on quarterback, which is yeah. awesome for CJ Stroud. Yeah. And Nicobe Dean. Yeah. Lost him too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> We'll get into that a little bit later. I, I have some more questions uh, oh, fine. with hot takes and stuff like that referring to this game. And, but also your game as well. Mm-hmm. Because so Michigan faces TCU. They lost against Kansas State. But Max Dugan looked like a dog. I can get behind that guy. 
He, he <laughs> like, he's fun to watch. Again, probably a quarterback who will, if he does get drafted, he's a Brock Purdy, right? Seventh rounder. Yeah. But the dude plays with some heart. Yep, I love That's that a Gardner Minshew if I've ever seen. Yep, I love that about him in that in that Big Twelve championship game. I mean, he's just they're picking him up. He's going back to the huddle. Yeah, the ball again, yeah. You know? it was like a Byron Leftwich Marshall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a, a lot of respect for him. I got to think that Michigan, their staff, and their players do as well. Yeah, um, but so tell us a little bit because I mean the only the only game that I've really watched of Michigan was the Ohio State game. So talk to us a little bit about um, Michigan's defense in general. Are, are you guys pass first, run first? I mean, I would say run first, right? You're, as far as offensively, yeah, 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 yeah. The, everything's based off the run. You okay. know, set up the play action, hit the tight ends, receivers yeah. on quick routes. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then defensively wise, I, I mean, how have you guys been all year? Uh, they they're a no name defense like they've said all year. There's not that Aiden Hutchison, a Jabo, you sure, know, Dax Hill. Sure, sure, it's just a bunch of guys. It's whose turn is it going to be the hero? Sure. Well, that's which that's the kind of stuff you like. Not to a hear. bad thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. It means you guys play well cohesively. So team effort. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it's you know it's going to be crazy though going into these playoffs. Um, with TCU facing off against Michigan, Georgia facing off against Ohio State. And then if it does happen, it, <laughs> it this state and I assume Michigan too are just gonna absolutely like be fucking <laughs> coming off the chain. I don't have another way to another way to put it. Did I mean, you put that in all your English papers? <laughs> I N G. I need it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, I did. It's his and big so, favorite. Yeah. No, uh, it, but you know you're right. You're right, Colin. Yeah. I mean, it'll be insane. I agree. I agree. Well, we'll get into more talk about this. Let's get into rapid fire questions here first. Fire away. All right, Doby, you're up first here, man. Favorite tailgating food? Oh, I go, I'm wings. I, anything wings? wings. Yeah. yeah, same here. That'd I, be me. You're Free me, goes. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, right? Uh, what was your. Uh, what, what was, look, we can make that a little harder. What, what sauce on the wings? Uh, one sauce, you get one. Get I'm one? Go- Hot. I'm going hot. Yeah, just yeah, hot, hot wings buffalo, for me. You know. Yeah. Okay, great. We're on the set. All right. Hey, <laughs> I tried to make it harder. Great. Next question. Yeah. Uh, what was your first memorable game growing up? Uh, and this is anything, any level or? Uh, Michigan game. Michigan game. Um, as a kid, I can go back as far as remembering Elvis Gerbach throwing on fourth and one Elvis and hitting. Gerbach. Yeah, hitting Desmond nice. Howard diving in the end zone. Mm-hmm. It was like fourth and one. It was like I remember my dad going, "What the hell is he Elvis doing?" Elvis Gerbach was. I for one, I didn't know he was a Michigan player. Yeah. Two, I did not know he was the quarterback during, during Desmond Howard. They played in high school together. They were both from Cleveland. Did not know that. Mm-hmm. And he was, uh, a, he was a Raven, right? Elvis Gerbach was for a while. Uh, he was a chief. He was a chief. Yeah, I remember Might that. Might been a Raven towards the end. He okay. bounced around quite okay. a bit. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So that, I would go that 1991 game against Notre Dame. Interesting. Mm-hmm. What about you? It Like an Ohio State-Michigan game or my, the first game I really remember? What, what, was, what was a memorable, a very memorable moment the first in Ohio one. State football Yeah, it, that you watched? Did we win the, was it 2002 we won the championship? Yes. I yep. was like seven years old, and yeah. I did not Against have, Miami, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. Um, it, I did not have a very strong – I mean, my – Willis McGahee. My parents are oh. – my parents are a lot less nerdy than I am. Like football was on, yeah. but it was never a big deal for me growing up. It wasn't even Ohio State was less of a big deal for me until I like started playing football in high school. But um, I remember pretty vividly my dad having that on TV, and I thought it was cool. Yeah, and and then might have gone literally another five years without watching a football game. But I, I do remember that I was like seven years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, it was uh, cool. Maurice Claret, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. And, and before you give us yours, just to kind of piggyback off that, mm-hmm. that's the way the game should, or when it should be played. So I don't know if you remember, this was a Friday night when that game was played. I, I was. It was double overtime. Old. I don't remember. <laughs> Nobody works the next day. Right. The ratings had to be off the charts. Now you're talking Monday, Monday night, night, 8 o'clock? It's yeah. fucked. That is I that get it. Not being on Saturday because the NFL playoffs are starting and they can't interfere with that. Then have it Friday night. Yeah. Right. Right, it's not. We're that making hard. it a weeknight anyway. Why is yeah. it? Why is it Monday? I just it baffles me. You brought up O two, and I remember that being a Friday night, and it just yeah. you know double I overtime. Told you what day of the week it was. was but I, I remember a, the game. Wasn't that considered fine. a fiesta bowl? It was. Yeah. So you're most memorable. <clears throat> I, I would be. It would have been the same one actually. But I right. would. I would have been. How much? How much older am I than you? 
Five years older? Are you 32? Yes. I'm 27. No, I'm 33. So you'd have been like 13. Okay, yeah. So I remember, uh, actually, this, we had a huge party at our house. Uh, me and I think it was Matt Steinball was over at my house. Oh, yeah. we, we watched the game together, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great game. McGay, he broke his leg. Now, were your parents there, too, partying? Or they were. They, okay. they were. Rodney they were. and Mary can do it up, man. I'm telling yeah. you. Not, <laughs> not keep up with them. <laughs> Nobody knows where they're at, where they're at ever. <clears throat> okay, uh, number three here. Who is your all-time player for your team? Oh, I have to say Charles Woodson. In high school, you know, 1997, he was from Ohio. Yeah, Wood just, County, right? Yeah, Fremont Ross is yeah, where he played. Yeah. And uh, just, I just, he, he could do it all. He played defense, he played receiver, he was a punt returner. Sure. And uh, as, a, as a kid, it was. It was like your Deion Sanders. Yeah. 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 And yeah. he ended up winning the Heisman. So it was, that was cool. He was my all time favorite. Yeah. What about you, Colin? I'm trying to give it some thought. I've got a lot narrow. When, even with Ohio State football, I, I don't. I can't name all the play. I can't name all the players that are going to start on Saturday. You know, let alone <laughs> all, let alone all time great player. I can't. Right? I mean, yeah, who's honestly, in the portal? Who's I'm, not? I'm, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to give some real thought to like who I've really enjoyed watching though. Yeah. I really. I really. Hmm, there's some good options in there. Um, I really just enjoyed the hell out of watching JT Barrett play, and I know that there were a it's lot fair. of people who didn't always think he was our best quarterback. There's some. De- discussion about that but and you're gonna have which, that with every quarterback i just had a lot of fun watching him play yeah I, I really did we were in college at the same time and and i i just it, it, you it, went to class though i did <laughs> <laughs> um yeah well it was cardell jones What's who that? said he wasn't here to play school <laughs> yeah cardell yeah he's a, i didn't come here to play school <laughs> jardell cones yeah <laughs> He was I, they, uh, a lot of those guys, but just I, I had a lot of fun watching him. Yeah. I really liked when he was the quarterback. I thought it was, it, I kind of liked that he was more prepared to tuck it and run than anybody else. I mean, he sure. got like seven You're yards every for time. That I was now. Like, Bring yeah. it up. I yeah. know. Dude. Yeah. Make sure I'm like, just him. fucking run. I swear. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. It's like, good Lord, I could have run three yards yeah. right there, you yeah. know, and I can't run, you know, I, 20 I, feet. I would say um, I would have two. Ooh. Because because I, I was a huge I'm a huge defensive fan. Okay. So AJ Hawk. Oh yeah. Was always fun to watch with the hair and the yeah. He, he was just a, he was just a, a a man amongst boys out there. I felt. And then two, um, you know, a part of me says you have to say Maurice Claret because what he did was absolutely amazing. Um, but I would actually not say him. My my number one probably all time player uh, that I loved to watch was Braxton Miller. The dude oh, was Braxton. absolutely electric. He was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Uh, you know, he he made a lot of plays that were just like, oh, in the hell did that just happen? I'll never forget the, uh, I the mean, spin move. The spin move at oh, Virginia yeah. Tech. At, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the spin move was Ezekiel Elliott. Like just in that, that same frame, like just killed a guy. <laughs> like it was awesome. <laughs> He yeah. was a lot of fun to watch too. Actually, yeah. Ezekiel Ezekiel Elliott. Too. Um, number four here. Where are you watching uh, the game this year? Your game. So I'll be hosting a New Year's Eve college football playoff party. So we'll be watching both down in the den. And, all right. Uh, so there'll be Michigan fans and there'll be Ohio State fans, and we'll all try to get along. Kid friendly. Tons of kids running around. The kids are excited. Right. Well, we might we might stop out. <laughs> stop we're over. looking. We were looking. No, absolutely. We looking, so. More than welcome. We had a couple of ideas out there, but it's hard to find a babysitter on New Year's Eve. So I understand. Bring them. <laughs> you know, my daughter would be glad to see. Oh see yeah, the girls. Oh so. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're not sure yet. Uh, me and a couple of my buddies will be kicking around doing something. I'm sure we'll want to watch football and yeah. probably stay up. But like, uh, both games know, are on good. New Year's Eve. We're getting old, man. One's at four and uh, high state's uh, eight, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it's weird having eight. the varsity okay. game first, then the JV. I don't understand <laughs> what that's all about, but yeah, you know, it's just the way the chips fall. So. Oh, I think it was. God. I think it was based on TCU and Georgia, not us. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I was. I, yeah, yeah. It. Uh, it. No, I'm not sure yet either, though. I, we're getting old, man. Like, I, I, we, <laughs> what? We all. We all agreed. We all agreed that we all agree that we don't want to be at a bar I, like sure. late on New Year's Eve, and we're right, like, right. we're like. Fuck! I think I'm going to be pretty fucking tired. Like after after midnight, like right. it's, it's going to be like okay, let's watch the ball drop. Let's all go to bed. You know? <laughs> he was. We got a show another day this week, and Colin, we're talking to a guy, and um, the guy, the guy, the guy who was talking about like going to work 
and then like yeah, yeah, and then yeah. and yeah. no, he was going to the Bengals game and then he was going to work and then he yeah. didn't sleep at all. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it was like seven thirty. I was getting tired. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. If this Love show's it. longer than an hour and a half, I'm going to be tired. <coughs> All right, Dobie, what was your last show that you binge-watched? Binge-watched? Yeah. Uh, I was really into The Walking Dead. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I watched every every season, <coughs> every episode. Yeah. And, uh, Kind of sad that it came to an end, but they're gonna have all these spinoffs coming up. So, so you just you just finish it then? Oh no 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 no! I, there isn't anything that I've ever like just sat in like two weeks off Christmas break gotcha. and just binged watch. I, gotcha. I, I just thought you meant as far as being a fan, but uh, yeah yeah. No, I, I guess I go with Cheers. Uh, the dude, show I, Cheers. It's one of my favorite shows of um, all time. My mom and aunt were extras on the show back in the day. What? So my kids wanted to <laughs> see kidding. grandma. And Are you my, serious? Yeah yeah. That's wild. So my uncle lives out in L.A., and his partner at the time was the costume designer. So he picked out the wardrobe nice. for all the, the actors and actresses. So, yeah, my mom's been to uh, Kirstie Alley's house. Uh, rest R- in peace. Rest in peace, yeah. Uh, R- 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 Rhea Perlman and Danny DeVito, who were married. Yeah, yeah. They, they went to their house. So uh, who, cool story. That's awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, I love Norm. Who, who does? Like, I love Norm. Don't, don't you just feel like when you walk into a bar, you should go, Trey! <laughs> Dude, I just want to be Norm. <laughs> like, like, I want to be Norm. Like, I just want to be at the end of the bar and just, like, talk shit to everybody that walks in. Like, I feel like I'd be really good at that job. <laughs> I, I think you would be great. I, I, I'll let you know if I see a post. I've, I've tried to appoint myself to that job many a time. Uh, you know. I'm going right. to try another beer here, fellas. Uh, the the jalapeno India Pale Ale, uh, certainly interesting. Not, it's different. Not my it's favorite. different. Not my. I knew something funky was going on top. there, but like I was. <laughs> I I was could you imagine picking a twelve pack up of those and going, oh, "I'm going to a party"? Oh, you know, like God. Oh. <laughs> so I got something else. It's yeah. another light beer. Yeah, based on the first one. I'm yes. not going to pour the whole thing out. <laughs> It, it smells swir- like Miller Lite. Around. Is it a Miller Lite? <laughs> it's, no, there's no regular domestics right. here. That's just what it smells like. I'm not trying to. Eat. The girls were messing around with all your cans again. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got to us some talking here. He starts. Chugging. I just don't know, man. Dude, it tastes. It tastes pretty. Domestic mass market <laughs> light beer, really light beer. Yeah, it does. I, it, I believe you that it's not. I, I'm no beer expert, man. I just yeah. like craft beer, but I was I yeah. was excited about this. It t- tastes. It looks, dude. It, it looks like <laughs> it looks so. Whoever, <laughs> so whoever made it, I don't know who made it, but whoever made it was shooting for the intro to craft beer. Like, hey, it's not Bud Light, but it's pretty fucking close. Like, that, you know, it, <laughs> sure. Try, j- Keep those people happy. Like, yeah, you know, no, there's nothing offer, wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, the, yeah. But, I've walked into places like craft beer and they have nothing else. And it's like, well, give me what would be the closest to a sure. Nick Ultra or Bud Light. Oh, yeah. My dad's the They're same, like, we have same something thing for you people. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I go, I mean, people. I, I don't Let have, me go to the back. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Like people, yeah. it, it, I keep saying it, and it keeps it's true, guys. I swear to God, we are anti like alcohol snob on this show. Yes, best, absolutely. Best kind of alcohol is alcohol you like to drink. There's no wrong way to drink it, but like that, somebody is shooting for that. Is what's going on right now. <laughs> you want to unmask it? Well, you guys haven't gotten to try it yet. Yeah, true, yeah, but we don't know if we're gonna pick that. Right, one. we don't know. Yeah, but I you bet want, I, visually. So you want to wait until we'll we all wait. try all three? visually? Okay. Uh, I, visually, I bet that I we bet can probably pick it out. Go, are you Good. kidding me? I'm gonna unless unless you picked a couple of them that were shooting for that. I, I could eyeball. I, you, you, can, uh, you can eyeball it between the two of those. No problem. Piece kit. I mean, yeah, that's super lighter. Yeah, it, so somebody is shooting for that here. I don't know. Yeah. Now I can tell you right now though, the last show that me and Colin have both binge watched, we are um, huge. Jack Ryan snobs right now. I haven't watched any more of it recently. But you haven't? I'm, I'm missing the last two episodes. Okay, okay. But the Jack Ryan... How many seasons are... There's third three seasons. Yeah, third season just came out. Eight eight episodes. Each episode is an hour, hour ten. Okay. <clears throat> and John Krasinski plays Jim on The Office. Oh, yeah. He plays Jack Ryan. Oh, okay. job. He is a badass. Do you ever All see right. any yeah, older like like Jack Ryan movies or like watch or like read the books or anything? Mm. They're really good. Name some movies. Uh, Hunt for Red October is my favorite. And yeah. I think it was the first. Some of All Fears. That's not Jack Ryan, though, is it? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Or is it? I think it is Jack Ryan. Is it? That'd be worth a Google. Um, I didn't read them all. Um, 
the uh, Patriot Games is one. Um, the uh, fuck, give me a second. There's another movie that I liked. Whatever, Hunt yep. for Red October is both my Some favorite. Some of all fears was Jack Ryan. Okay, that's my okay. bad. I, like I ben said, Affleck played Jack Ryan in that one. They've had a million different people play him. Harrison Ford played him. Um, who's the my wife's cousin's dark haired guy that shot somebody? Dad played the president in that movie, James Cromwell. You know Amber Cromwell? Yeah, yeah. Amber. Okay. Yep. So I was just mentioning my uncle Mark that lives out in L.A. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mark and Amber hang out all the time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. We went to visit them. We stayed at their house. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, we yeah, stayed yeah, at their yeah, house yeah. one night. Yeah, uh, Helm Sutter. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know James Cromwell? No. I'll show Is you. he related to Oliver? Uh, no. He's played in a lot of movies as like the... Uh, like a, a warden of a, I know. Okay, <laughs> he played in a lot of movies as like the warden of like prisons and stuff like that. He was in the Green yeah, Mile. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my wife's cousin married his son. Cool. Yeah. So. That's cool. That's right. I don't know anybody in L.A. As it turns out, <laughs> he was uh, in the new Jurassic. Uh, oh, world, really? Wasn't he? I I don't know. So, yeah, he was. Um. Also, uh. Funny story, though, what you just said, you know, I don't know anybody out in L.A. When we went to L.A. to visit them, actually, me and my wife go to, like, this uh, bar at Marina Del Rey called um, El Cantino or El Cantina. And they were like, oh, you got to try the nachos. They're really good there. All right, great. So we go get nachos. <clears throat> you remember our 06, 07 football, you know, mm -hmm. uh, for Walpock football. I had the shirt on. Um, sit, we're sitting at the bar drinking, having a good time. This guy taps me on the shoulder. He goes, you from Walpaw Canetta? I was like, yeah. Pronounces it correctly. You know this from it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, big dude about my size has long blonde dreadlocks all the way down to his ass. I was like, uh, yeah. I was like, how do you know Walpaw? He's like, I'm from Lima. I was like, no shit. He goes, yeah, man. He's like, I've lived out here for uh, 10, 12 years now. I was like, oh, really? I was like, what do you do? He goes, I build. Uh, he's like, I actually build the set for um, Glee, which oh. is based out of Lima, Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was like, really? Small he goes, world. He goes, yeah, man. I was like, I was like, that's crazy. I was like, I've never met anybody who lives out here. He goes, well, nobody from LA is from LA. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I was like, all right, touche. That in New York, right? Yeah, 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 touche. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was kind of odd running into a guy who like knew who Walpock was. <laughs> Went to Colorado for the first time this fall, and uh, about two hours after we got off the plane, we're in like a CVS trying to pick up a couple things and so. Yeah. I didn't know him very well, but there's a guy we had uh, Taylor Gonzalez had like a Wapak shirt on or something, and like some guys like. Have you seen that episode yet with Taylor? No. Oh my god. He's like you guys. I didn't know he was on. Oh, oh Taylor, yeah. Good. You got to watch that. Yeah, I was like, you guys from Wapak, and we're like, yeah, it is like his dad owns some business here. I, I know his dad. I think I never knew him, but he he's been gone a while apparently. But like two hours after we got off the plane in Denver, Colorado. Like, really? Yeah, yeah. That's funny. You guys from Wapak? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, a buddy of mine, well, you know, you know, Josh Cockrell. Mm -hmm. So Josh sends me a photo of, uh, you know, <laughs> this is football related, by the way. Um, Josh sends me a photo of a bald black guy with a beard and goes, who's this? And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> I have no idea. He's like, bro, it's Leonard Fournette. I was like, where did you, how, how did you run into Leonard Fournette? He's like, I'm standing in Walmart and he's behind me. He's buying a pack of gum. <laughs> I was like, uh, all right. Uh, Buying it back and go. Fair enough. I was like, how did you know that that was Leonard Fournette? <laughs> right. I would. I, I would have never I don't know who that, that is. Is he a football player? Yeah, he's yeah. running back for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All right. That's about as much as I know. Yeah. He was a stud for LSU. LSU, yeah. Yeah. Stud for LSU. But, um. Choose gum. You choose gum, yeah. Shop to just, Walmart. Yeah, for gum. For gum. <laughs> But yeah, he took a picture with Josh, and Josh sent it to me. He's like, guess who this is? I'm like, dude, how the fuck am I supposed to know who that is? <laughs> Um, number six here. What QB that you've watched come out of, or what was the best QB that you've watched come out of your school? Out of my school, uh, probably Chad Henney. Really? Yeah, I just he was a four-year starter. You know, he's still kind of hanging around the NFL. Do you ever feel? Oh, that's true. Do you ever feel like? Um, yeah, because Tom Brady. Tom Brady wasn't. He as, wasn't solid yeah, I mean, in if college. I, if I'm talking career, yeah, that's too easy, right? Sure. Go. Sure. But, you know, Chad played four years. Tom kind of split time with Drew Henson for a year and yeah. then finally got to start his senior year. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, can't, I can't say Tom Drew Brady. Drew Henson. Forgot he backed up Romo in Cowboys. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He, well, he went, uh, he went baseball route. Yeah, he did go baseball route first, yeah. yeah. And then That's right. probably a mistake. You know, he still regrets to this day. But 
Yeah, Chad Henney. Do, do you feel like, um, being a Michigan fan, do you ever feel like that you um, have so much young talent at quarterback sometimes that just never – I feel like every every year there's not every year, but maybe like every two or three years though, I always feel like there's a Michigan quarterback who I'm like, oh, I'm excited to see what this kid can do, and then like it never happens. Mm, I don't like McCaffrey's brother. Oh, okay, yeah, Dylan McCaffrey. Yeah, I thought maybe he would be the guy. Yeah, I mean, the, the pedi- family that he's- pedigrees there. <laughs> yeah. Everything was there. Well, I, well, I don't understand what that's happened. That's always there. been our argument, you know. And this is Harbaugh's eighth year. Mm-hmm. Has never had a quarterback. Up yeah. until I, I'll say now, like Cade McNamara was mm-hmm. was okay last year. He managed the games, hand sure. the ball off. They played defense. He didn't make mistakes. But now he's got JJ McCarthy. Yeah, this is what I've been waiting on since he got there in 2015. Sure. But it's always been somebody that he inherited when he got there, or it was a transfer. And it was like a one and done. Like sure. So, but yeah, I agree with you 100 percent on that. Like, yeah, Dylan, yeah. Dylan, that's a great. I would have forgot all about him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I picked Joe Milton over him. Yeah, who I transferred know. to Tennessee? Who yeah. sucked? I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big draft guy, or not draft guy. Well, I am a big draft guy, but I'm also a big uh, recruiting guy. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I pay attention to that stuff, yeah. and uh, a lot, th- especially through both of our schools because I'm interested in it. Yeah, and um, yeah, I mean, I was super excited for Sam McGuffey for a while too. Oh, I yeah. thought Sam McGuffey was going to be a dog. Yeah, and he was. He still was. Mm-hmm. He wasn't bad. Yeah, um, and then just, he ended up going to Rice. Yeah, yeah so. it's just part of that Rich Rod era where nothing panned out for anybody. <laughs> nothing panned out for anybody. You can't go three and I was at the game when they lost to Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So glad those days are over. <laughs> now that's when I used to drink. Yeah. But Pops Rodriguez, he he had a. He, I mean, he had a reputation though of being. You know, he came from West Virginia, right? Hmm. I mean, he had he had the reputation. I just got being... out of therapy for this, by the way. <laughs> you want to bring this up? <laughs> Doc, Doc says, "You know, you're doing good. You got hardball now. You're real happy these days. I don't think we need to see each other anymore." You beat Ohio State twice in a row. Yeah. Like that. Craig wants to bring up Rich Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> Old pops, man. <laughs> <laughs> Old pops. <laughs> But no, I mean he was known though for the he was known for that West Coast offense though coming out of West Virginia, wasn't he? It wasn't West Coast. It was just a like a power read spread. That's right. Um, That's right. And he had Pat White and Pat Slayton White at West Virginia. Yep, Derry, or not Steve Slayton. Slayton. Steve Slayton. Yeah, I forgot and, about those guys. And what probably TF'd him trick your favorite word? Say it. Trick fucked. Yep. Trick fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> favorite, no, I just my need favorite you, word. I need you to fill in the F word. You know this is. In case my students are watching, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got TF'd on the I'm not tw- sure you're... Tw- what grade are you teaching these days? I don't know. <laughs> I'm on Christmas vacation right now. I okay. Forget. All right. Uh, like, I don't think your students should watch this. Like, I don't, <laughs> they shouldn't. Don't There's encourage a lot of stuff appeal. they shouldn't watch and they do. Yeah. Uh, think, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Think about what we were watching when we were kids. Yeah. There you go. There's your answer. I was reading books. Oh, I was oh, not. Yeah, he was, he's been graded <laughs> by a language arts teacher That's his whole true. life. So. Which, I'll tell you what, his books have got some pretty yeah. graphic shit in there. A lot yeah. more than TV, honestly. Uh, it's like know. that's like Emma. You know, Emma told us that <laughs> growing up that uh, Keith would wake her up with math problems. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, poor they Emma. were like, thank God, love you, Keith. Thank that's God, what I, I do too. Keith's a great guy. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, but math is. Not I don't know if Keith watches. Dave watches though. What's up, Dave? <laughs> it's his brother. What's up? Um, yeah, no, not not math problems, but like there were a hundred percent like lessons. My dad did it a lot more than my mom. My mom and I just read a shit ton of books. My dad like is the guy who had like visual aids and like <laughs> lessons at the dinner table. Oh no! I think I had like a I think I had like an MBA by the time I was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Giving presentations at eleven. <laughs> I was getting. <laughs> oh, you have to go to the bathroom. This first. <laughs> this first it's like a little before then after dinner they were like dude he had, he had a fucking chart <laughs> by the dinner table for a while <laughs> well for what it most it was it was like 96 percent business stuff is what it was <laughs> like economics management business administration <laughs> a little accounting what he knew about finance like i mean it was like it, early early on yeah <laughs> You know where my mind's going with this? <laughs> so, you know, we, you and I 
we talk movies a lot. Oh yeah. So I'm thinking like Egon, Ghostbusters. <laughs> like, didn't you have any toys as a child? Well, I had a slinky, but then I straightened it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like Colin, was, yeah. he didn't have any toys. If he did, that's not true. That's totally not true. I, I'm probably he had misrepresenting it. I had a slinky, but I straightened it. <laughs> my, my parents were great. I'm probably misrepresenting it here. I just I'm, I was a nerd. I am a nerd. Oh, I'm oh, pretty great. proud of it. I don't that's mind. Awesome. No, you so turned much, out okay. Like you know, you're doing fine. Dude. I don't know about that, but like, I, no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get math problems, but there were 100 percent like business lessons at my dinner table. I swear funny. to God, that's and, hilarious. You know, though. From love it. pretty early on, I love it. Yeah. Um, what about you, Colin? Uh, best QB that you've watched come out of Ohio State? It once again, I, there are like there are like six options. I, you yeah. know, I don't that I'm aware of that I've watched yeah. it all since uh, Urban. You know, yeah. it's yeah. like he had. So, I watched a little bit of Troy Smith. Uh, you know, Troy Epp. Yep, um, he was. A I watched special. a little bit here and there, and he was good, and I liked him. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm I'm probably sticking with JT Barrett. Yeah, yeah. it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just would, had a lot of fun watching him. I really had fun watching yeah, him. Yeah, I I have to give. Um, yeah, me too. Come on. I, I have yeah. to give the <laughs> yeah. especially in November. I have That's to so give the best QB that I've watched come out of my you guys school. Heard him. That's right. I actually have to would I would have to say, um, as of right now, it would be Justin Fields. Yeah, just for the progression that he yeah. made. He okay. Is he playing for the Bears? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. and he's what probably the Should best be Buckeye quarterback that. in the NFL right now. I mean, maybe Probably the only one. ever, ever, but to come out. Not, from no, the I mean, I'm not poking fun. I just yeah. like he's. I think he's going to be really good. It's one of the I six so. I can he's, name. He's he showed some strides this year, Super and I wasn't athletic. sure if that would happen. I wasn't either. People After get last ruined year. when they go to the wrong team. Are we allowed to claim Joey Baker Mayfield is a perfect example of that? Yeah, we can claim Joey Burrow. You can cl- <laughs> you can claim Joey. It's fine. No, we can't claim Joey. We cannot claim Joey. <laughs> most recent third. I'm a Bengals quarterback. I'm, listen, listen, I'm a Bengals fan, and I say he's from LSU. All right. I mean, he's from fair. Ohio. He's from Ohio, but he went he he balled out at LSU. That's fair. Who enough. couldn't? Who couldn't, who couldn't with that offense? That's true. But Good the, lord. The reason he's at the Bengals is because he went to LSU. This is true. <laughs> so, but I also loved watching Terrell Pryor. That too. I thought Terrell Pryor was an athletic freak. So the only Michigan six. High State game six. that I went to was in 08, Rich Rod's first year. And, <laughs> and Pryor was, was playing. And yeah. who we thought we were going to get. Because we're going, oh, we get Rich Rod. We're going to get this offense. Yeah. And it's yeah. perfect for Pryor. And, yeah. No. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. High State. Well, Pryor, actually, his, his first commitment was to Penn State. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's from, from Gen- Pennsylvania. Yeah, he's from Jeanette. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's just a freak of an athlete, though. He was. You know they they have a video of him um, at NFL practices, and he asked to uh, play defense, and the, and they were like, "No, you're not, you're not doing it." And he goes, "No, no, no." He's like, "Let me, let me, let me block some kicks," and they're like, "Block kicks?" This dude would jump over the both. He would do a Troy Palomalu, yeah, and block kicks. Just jump over both lines. Well, I remember as a Browns fan, he, he was a receiver snap. playing. Yeah, played for the Browns. He was a wide receiver. Yeah. I mean, if you're athletic, you're athletic. Yeah, yeah, six foot six. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big dude. It's mm-hmm. a big dude. I, I I saw him play for the Browns. You know, Cockrell has season tickets. We went down there. I mean, we're four rows away from the field. So like, I mean, they're these guys are close. Dude, Terrell is a big dude. Mm-hmm. He's huge and muscular. I mean, he's he's a freak. He mm-hmm. really is. Josh Gordon was though too. Josh Gordon just didn't pan out <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Well, he did in the penitentiary system. <laughs> <laughs> Making license plates. <laughs> they got a prison football team. So like the longest yard. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he would have been a stud. <laughs> he, he fast. He make fast people look not fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, caretaker. <laughs> um, name seen that movie. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, what is your best tailgate experience? Well, who's your quarterback? Do you say is it so? Is prior? Or? Oh no, my my quarterback would be uh, would be Justin Fields, Miss just Fields. because of the progression. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, okay, so moving forward, you said best best tailgate experience easily um, in Ann Arbor during Chase Winovich's time. Okay, because uh, what's going on with him right now? He's with the Browns and no. he's healthy. Finally, he's healthy now. Yeah, he's played in the last three weeks. And but, but I mean, he's I mean. They got two big defensive ends. Yeah, so he's he, you know he's like a third down, you yeah, know, okay. rush and you know spelling gotcha. guys. Gotcha. But finally, he's just healthy. You yeah. know, he's kind of had a lingering injury all, all year. But um, so I don't know if you know this, Colin. Uh, the Armleys from Wapak. Yeah. Um, Anthony married Chase Winovich's sister. They met at Bowling Green. Okay. I remember and, we talked about this a little bit last time you we were on the show. Yeah, and 
we, you know, we started tailgating with like his his family, his parents, his just the whole the whole gang, and that it was nothing better. Like they just yeah. treated you like they were one. We, one time we all wore fifteen jerseys, and yeah, nice. um, that oh, that's right, that was his number at Michigan, wasn't mm-hmm. it? That's so fun. that was that was cool because you you felt a part of something. Yeah, it wasn't cool. just like because now he's number sixty nine. Is there a reason for that? He let the fans vote on Twitter, and they voted <laughs> for sixty nine. That's what you get. <laughs> shocker. Well, only because no, they wouldn't no, put four twenty on it. That's, <laughs> that's not the shocker. <laughs> you, you just really need to make sure none of your kids like know that you came on this podcast. Is what I really think you need to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't promote it. <laughs> All right, kids, here's the schedule for the week. Vocab, podcast, and then uh, vocab quiz on Friday. <laughs> if you're under the age 18, go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. All right. Um, so what was your best tailgating experience yeah. ever? Um, does it have to be at a football game? Do you have to remember no. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, so I mean, like Ohio State football games were a great time, but like I one time call, I, I showed up and that was it. I wouldn't, <laughs> that's all I remember. That's all I remember. Uh, I wouldn't what call a house day? party a tailgate. So like the best oh. tailgating I've ever actually done is for horse races. Believe it or not. Oh, hmm. okay. Uh, we buddy of mine went to UK and we went down to visit him while he was in college in Lexington. Um, and we've just kind of kept that going because the place is cool and. Um, we've seen basketball games and stuff, but the last handful of years we've gone to Keeneland, the horse race track, um, and like it's a big tailgating experience. Really? Like uh, it really is. Um, I wouldn't say biggest ever, but it's hands down my best tailgating experience. Pro- probably one, two, and three on my tailgating experiences. It's just a hell of a good time. <laughs> that that's not. What is that? Is that? Oh, thank. That looks like fuck. syrup. That looks like syrup. I'm like over two over here. Like I mean, they're okay, but I, you know, I'm ready to try something else. Please it's give like me what Treg had. Chocolate milk. Oh, what yes. is that? I don't know, but I'm. I'm already, oh, did you get the same thing? Nice. I'm already happier than I was. There is no dark beers, Doby. No, I said there's one. There's one in there. One. I already smell one there. like coffee, dude. If I get you smell s- coffee, uh, yeah. Do you? you know? I don't smell coffee. Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have coffee beans in it. A lot of maltier beers do some like sure. the dark malted beer, whatever. Aaron Holtz is having a fit somewhere. I can just tell. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can feel it. I sat with him a couple weeks ago at Jay Murray's. Never really got to to know him until yes. that night and. That guy knows his beer. Oh yes, he does. Like there would be beers come like out, and he'd be like, "Okay, see that that glass is not properly cleaned." And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. "Why?" Because we'll see all the bubbles, and I was like, "Fuck, I wouldn't." Do that, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. But you know, he wasn't. He said it's just 100 percent had this. I don't know what it is yet, but it's. It, did you get me? Like, no, it doesn't come in a can. Never mind. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Any other brain busters there? Sorry, that you want to ask? Oh, I feel. I, that, well, this is the first one I'm positive that I feel like I've had. Oh, really? But I don't know what it is. You're gonna have to give me a minute. We gotta finish the whole thing. It smells like it's from an old boot. <laughs> It smells like coffee. You get the coffee nose off it. Man, if I grab a coffee after the whole pizza. It's not. I don't think there's coffee in it. Would you like some water? No. Okay. I'm allergic. That's not bad, though. No, That's no, actually I like light. I like That's it. real light. Mm. It is. I'm scared. It's not like it, like uh, so that's why okay. I went, that's why I went. Okay, okay. <laughs> he said okay. Good. Look Boy, at this. Hey, look. Table, uh, <laughs> that's why I went with this though. Um, this is it's not a it's not a thick beer at all. It's not a thick dark beer. It's a very light. There's nothing dark thick beer. about me, Trey. <laughs> that's what I always say. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, Colin? Do you like it though? Still, he's think, still like thinking. I think I'm going to be pretty pissed if I don't name it. Like, just oh really? I feel like I'm like, oh, you've had this, Colin. What is this? <laughs> it's like family game night. He's like, I don't know it. I'm going to be pissed off. I am. Well, well, that's true. It's true. I'm not. I'm not even. It's true. I'm just trying to be honest over here. Um, I, no, I like it. I like it. Um, pretty, pretty solid. Like B beer for me. It's, it's good. I, I can't. It's a B. It's a B beer. Oh, that's 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 pretty good. That yeah. we call like a minus even it's set. like that's yeah. a good score for me. That's solid. Um, it's pretty good beer then. It is pretty good beer. Um, the fuck I like that. That's dude, very I've smooth. That's very I'm, smooth. It's I'm good. already like I'm already in, like inherently pissed off. <laughs> well, I want to know about Treg's favorite or best. Uh, My best tailgate, tailgate experience um, was this past year. We had a we had a really good one at Ooh, fresh. Um, this past year we had a really good one at a Bengals game. We uh, got to park in the players' lot. And uh, we were, or not players lot. It was the par- It was the p- parents, fa- family lot, family. Yeah, players' family lot. Um, we did, we did it 
kind of by accident. We kind of paid off some people. Got in there, and we uh, tailgated ourselves. It was, now, it was when you say paid time. off people... Like, it, or person, it was one guy. The guy was, running the gate. Yeah, it was, oh, okay. security, it was a security guy. We so we got there early. Try like give him my seven. How cheap was he? Left handed, upside down, or what? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Well, so, I, we got there about seven thirty. Like the gates open at eight. Got there about seven thirty. We see the security guard walking up, and we pull up, and we're just like, "Hey, can we park here?" He's like, "You guys got a pass?" And we're like, "No, do you need a pass for this place?" He's like. Yeah, and we're like, ah. My wife goes, what about 20 bucks? And he's like, make it 40. No. Yeah. <laughs> so we made him 40 bucks, and we. You always right start in. low. Good job, Kelsey. <laughs> <Yeah. Kelsey>. 20? <laughs> 40. So, yeah, we got right in. It was pretty cool, though. Um, but, no, uh, I mean, that was, that was cool because we were just doing it ourselves. But the funnest time, though, I had tailgating was probably at a Bengals game again. No, I take it back. It's at a Buckeyes game with my mom and dad. Yeah, uh, because my mom and dad have um, they tailgate with the uh, it was like the basketball alumni team or whatever the basketball alumni tailgaters. Hmm. I don't know, but this guy uh, has like he, it's always catered in food. He does like uh, bourbon tastings in there. Um, all all you can drink, all you can eat. It's a great time, great time. And you're, I mean, we are probably from like us to the back side of uh, side rail uh, to the horseshoe. Like I can, it's right there. Like I can throw a stone and hit it. The horseshoe. Mm-hmm. Oh, the shoe. The shoe. But yeah, it was a good time. That was probably the, that was probably one of the better tailgating experiences I've had. It was fun. It was because it was free. Yeah. The whole time I thought you were talking about Cincinnati because I don't think it'd be a fun time at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. After listening to our last guest talk about who, well, I guess not last. I think that show is going to get aired after this. Yeah, time. it will. <laughs> um, after listening to Matt talk about some of the Bengals tailgating, I'm like, I, you know, I think we should go. Oh, Mark, I, yeah, I think, yeah. Mark, oh, yeah. I call him Matt. I'm <laughs> yeah. so sorry. I apologize, Mark. I'm so sorry. What's in that coffee? <laughs> it's dude. What the fuck it's is Bailey's. this? I'm so. I'm so. <laughs> it's Bailey's. Bailey's in a boot. I should know what this is. This is Mo Greg. Does uh, the maker of this make a beer that you like? Is this a different? I've never had this company before. The company you is new to you. Yes, that's unhelpful to me. <laughs> All right, you let's like go it on. So much you can have mine. <laughs> let's go on to the next one here. I, which we already know now, but what coach do you wish never coached? <laughs> we gotta bring that up. <laughs> Old pops. Old pops. <laughs> Old pops. Rod. I don't even like know who that is. Rich Rodriguez. Yeah. I wouldn't. I can't answer the question. They're, That's they're, gonna be a part of your like, homework too. This they're week. like. <laughs> they're like. Five Ohio State <laughs> coaches all time that I can name, and there's not yeah. a single one that I would say I did, wouldn't want to coach. I would say Cooper out of all of them. I don't know who that is. Straight up, straight up and down, don't know who it is. Yeah. When was he coaching? That'd have been bef- it was it was like early nineties. It was eighty yeah, so eight to two thousand. Like I, I think was yeah. his tenure there, and he was two ten and one against Michigan. So he was one of my favorite Ohio State <laughs> coaches. Sure. And then after that, you guys got real smart, and you went and got Trestle, Urban, and Ryan Day. Thank you. <laughs> those three. Those three. I obviously know Woody uh, and Earl Bruce, and those are the five. You know what's? You know you keep talking about all these names. Those you know are the these five. guys all have in common. They've all gotten fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not dead. And, well, not yet. <laughs> if if he gets beaten the national championship to Michigan, yeah, he might still hang on for one more year. You get beaten Ann Arbor well, next Tre- year well, again. Trestle resigned though. Well, let's be honest. <laughs> and, and and you can say Urban too but stepped honestly, away because of health. But true. But honestly, they though, all I think had I don't stuff. think stuff. Yeah, all these like legendary do you, coaches. Do you consider though Trestle's stuff to be? A bit, I mean the tattoo scandal. I like, don't. I don't sit. I'm not sitting on a sword for Terrell Pryor and these guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I have a family too. For sure, sure. You know what, kid? You fucked up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not yeah. hiding it for you. But th- but then again, though, I mean, now you look at it though from the perspective of today, and that shit's totally fine. No, it is. No, so it's it's just way the game evolution changes sure. the rules. Sure. I respected Trestle. I really liked. I thought he was a great coach. It was making fun I, of Ohio State, but Colt actually had a T-shirt. I always thought it was really funny. It was that? like it was like Jim Trestle's uh, tattoo parlor or something. <laughs> that had it was a T-shirt that had like the T-shirt was like the sweater vest, but like his arms were bare oh. and like tattooed. And, like, oh, okay. Like that. I always thought it was pretty funny. 
Colt hid a lot of things from me, so I know I never saw that. You never saw that T-shirt? No. no. I thought him. you might have bought he, him that T-shirt. He's coming over Saturday if you want to stop over, so he'll be there. there we go. I might. I yeah. haven't seen him in a little bit. Yeah. I like Colt. I miss him. You're more than welcome. I mean, I'm. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Get, Honestly, uh, yeah, we might, yeah. I mean, so he, he's got to he answer the coach's gonna, question. Yes, I, can't, I really can't. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I don't. I, I none of the five guys that I I can literally name five coaches for Ohio State all time. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get rid Say of Urban. any of them. Say it. No, I love Durbin. <laughs> he's he's a slime man. I fucking love Durbin. He can fuck <laughs> all the coeds he wants. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Was it? We're talking about Florida or at his bar in Columbus? <laughs> don't give a shit. He's your idol. Yes. Don't care. <laughs> They're rough. Honestly, I loved Urban because he never he never took his foot off the gas pedal. That's why I relentless. Yeah. yeah, I was out there trying to nail. I the hated. Good. Why would I blame him for doing the same thing? I love Trestle. Well, Shelly might have something to say about it. <laughs> I love Trestle just because of, of of the uh, You're right. of the discipline that he demanded. However, I hated playing Trestle ball. <laughs> I hated playing Trestle ball, dude. It was like we would just let people catch up. I, I, <laughs> I can't answer the question. <laughs> I can't. I wouldn't you stumped even, him. I just well, I just don't know enough to probably say. You know. Yeah. No, oh, it's all good. Fair enough. Fair enough. You? Um, I would say it's Cooper for me. Mm. Just because of Michigan. Yeah. Miss him. Miss Didn't him we, so much. In the first, <laughs> seriously, like seriously, like all the way back, like in the eighteen hundreds, like. The first handful of times we played Michigan, didn't we lose? Like, yeah. like literally 120 yeah. I'm, I'm surprised years. You, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't say like... That guy. That guy's fired. Whoever that is. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say like a uh, hoke or anything. No, I, I think, you know, here, here's the thing too about Brady. He, he did things the right way. Like, yeah, you know, he inherited Rich or, Rods. Or Carr. No, I, I liked Carr. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guy won... Five was it five Big Ten championships. I mean, you know, okay, okay. so in a national co, whatever you want to say, yeah, but yeah, he did things the right way too. That's the thing. Michigan football's never been really embarrassed other than their winning and loss record for about a decade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Off the field, that, it, that's the thing. They, they they try to do things the right way, and I that's I I I'm big on that. Okay. Now, like you said, it doesn't matter because you can get nil and you can yeah. pay yeah. players, and yeah. they're, everybody's whole, doing the same thing. Whole different ballgame. Yeah. That point yeah all right number 10 here have you ever gotten into a fight during the game or came close no no i've been in like two fights in my entire life and neither of them were about like a football game yeah okay no 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 it's it's never ever been that serious yeah i've ne- i haven't either um i've never had i mean you see it all the time though mm-hmm. you know fans that get a little too drunk a little too crazy mm-hmm. a little too out of hand well i was gonna say uh, you know i the the worst thing I ever saw, and I believe that it happened. I have no problem believing it happened on any given game. Um, I mean, you get you get a hundred thousand people run, more than that. Uh, you know, you get th- tens of thousands of people running around and all and drunk and hyped up, and uh, you know, shit happens. But yeah. the worst thing I ever saw in Columbus happened to a like rival school was it was after we lost to Virginia Tech. I saw somebody throw a full beer can, like like a full like a. I saw someone throw like a full beer can at a guy, and like that's the most violent thing I ever saw happen to like mm-hmm. a, over a football game. You know, he threw a what? Like a full beer can, like oh. not an empty beer can, like a, one that had some heft and like it hurt if you took it to the head or something. <laughs> sure, what? Oh, seriously, uh, you know, <clears throat> I could never throw a full beer can at anybody. No, like em- my dad would empty, probably em- cry. Yeah, like. It wasn't me. I watched Empty, the guy do I, it. I understand, but not yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> it's the most violent thing I ever saw happen as a result of a football game. All right. You guys ready to get into some hot takes with Emma? Hot takes with Emma. Yeah. With Emma? So Emma's not Emma's here. Emma's hot takes. But she created this segment. Oh. So we just still call it hot takes with Emma. Oh. <laughs> you, you never met Emma, have you? No. So she does. she's usually our MC in the chair over there. She's great. Um, Keith's daughter. She's awesome. Keith. Horner. Horner. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 She yeah, comes Mr. on. Mr. Horner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's she, what I said. That's yeah, what, yeah. 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 I was she, like, you're kidding. Yeah, she comes on the show. That she, guy's she, awesome. Oh, that's yeah. good. She's uh she'll be here all during the summer. She's our intern at RMG, so Pretty we're going good. to visit her yeah. at college in April. We are. It's her twenty first birthday in April. We're gonna do a show <laughs> see, in Bowling Green. See, I knew there was there was <laughs> something to it. Like she's gonna be twenty one. 
and uh, we're just going up for a show. Here's the, here's the thing. She's a really good kid, and I think feel like she's going to have to drive Treg and I home on her 21st birthday. So <laughs> yeah, that's punishment. I mean, she should be able to let loose for the first I feel time. Like, I, feel you know, like, I feel like we can walk I anywhere, though. I feel like we though, should go like two weeks after she turns 21. <laughs> That's fair. That's yeah. fair. So the first hot take with Emma is number one is CJ Stroud. Good. I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> I love him so much. You have no idea. It's, it's more than comfortability. I here's, freaking love him. Here's my issue with Stroud. I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and say it. I never liked him at first. Okay. I never did. Um, his playing style, not him personally. Just sure. His playing style. I didn't like... They're just kids, man. I know. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking after him now. I know. Um, but no, uh, so CJ, the thing about CJ with me, though, is, is uh, you know, I watched his little documentary about Jordan Fleming, which is a wide receiver for the Buckeyes, who were, were basically recruited him. Yeah. Um, basically, he said he saw him, you know what, at the Elite 11? Yeah. And was just like, dude, like, day, you need to... Mm-hmm. You need to get on the phone. You need to give this guy a scholarship. Get this guy, yeah. Because he wasn't even being recruited. Nope. So, he, I mean, he came through or whatever. He's done great. Um, I think he has an arm. Mm. Clearly. But other than that, I don't, I don't think he plays with heart, man. I, I, I don't think he has the it factor. Um I, I'm, I'm going to continue to be the uneducated opinion in the room the entire time we're talking about you this. You are. But like we've, <laughs> I had that's no fine idea. with me. I'm pretty used yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life, man. That's all right. Story of my life. But, like, but the thing, the thing we already said out loud, the thing that drives me nuts. I'm like, there are times where, like, I mean, obviously, you know, if we can throw the ball for 30, 40, 50, mm-hmm. fine. Throw the yeah. ball. But, like, at some point, just put the ball under your arm and run the fucking ball. Like, so here's the issue. Run. Uh, there, just, the, yeah, just go. There was it, a there was a guy. Just punch the, the mic. microphone. I, <laughs> There's a guy though who who came out with a video and said this is why Stroud um, is not it. That happened like 12 times during the Michigan game. I was like, yeah. I was like, are we going to get? But it? there's Maybe not. But like, there's we get a lot of, right there. There's a lot of videos of Stroud who um, where he tucks the ball and runs or whatever. And there's there's um, it was probably 10 times, which is probably all 10 that he's done it this year. But there's like an open lane to the fucking end zone, and he runs out of bounds. And like it's just like, and the guy even says he's like, if that was JT Barrett, mm-hmm. he's Touchdown. fucking diving. Mm-hmm. Like he's like going all out. If it's Terrell Pryor, he's he's gonna try to bully whoever is trying to tackle him. And CJ Stroud just is like, I, I don't know. It's is it this? You know, a lot of people say it's that California character. Yeah, but you want to allude to me that uh, documentary with Jul- Julius Fl- is it Julius Jul- Jordan Fleming Jordan Jordan Fleming. He, they talked about his background, mm-hmm. and he was really close with his father. His yeah. father ended up, you know, going to prison. Going to prison. You know, he he could have gotten really lost in life there. So I have a kind of a soft place for for kids like that. Sure, but in another sense of that, where's the chip on the shoulder? Exactly. Like dad's in jail. You yeah, know, look at LeBron. You. LeBron plays like he even hard. talked about how like really Gary Owen even says it in the stand up. Ticked him off. You know. Yeah. Like why is it? Like, why is this, yeah, like, where's yeah. that at? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Gary Owen, he's a stand-up comedian, he talks about how, he talks about players with dads and players without dads. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, you know, he's like, you watch Kobe Bryant? He's like, he's like, just turn around, jump shot. He's like, thanks, Dad, love you, Dad. He's like, and then you got LeBron, who's like, fuck basketball, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking dunk this shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, there's just a different mentality there when you don't have a dad. Okay. No, it's it's. <laughs> there's no <laughs> argument there. Yeah, I wouldn't have ever. But thought I, about that. <laughs> I get it. Like you're, you guys is frustrated, and you know, like in the Northwestern game, he ran a little bit more. Like he, he, he had, had to, to, right? Or they're gonna. The wind was fucking eighty miles an hour. He'll do it if pressed, but like I, I miss the just tuck it and run mentality. Yeah. No, it, it does make you miss JT Barrett because JT Barrett frustrated me though a lot too. Some of JT I got a, I got a that, feeling that was a routine yeah. complaint about him. Like he'll, yeah. he'll, he's just running all the time. Like throw the fucking ball. But like, I, either he would run it all the time, or like some of his throws, I'd just be like, oh, why would you do what? The, it, there were four people there. It dude. was working out for us, man. <laughs> it and was. It was. I don't know anything about the guys behind him in the depth chart for the future, but I've got to think they, you know, like McCord and them. McCord. I, yeah. I don't. I gotta think they're gonna stray away from the kind of Stroud. 
yeah. type quarterback. Like somebody's they gotta to. run a little bit. Yeah. What are the coaches telling him? That's what I want to know. Run the fucking ball. Are the coaches just like, dude, what the fuck are you doing out there, man? I don't know. You it's think not, they? Are. It's just not any. I, I, yeah. I don't know. The the uh, I I do know recruiting wise though. Like I told you guys earlier, I'm a big recruit guy, so I watch this stuff. Um, there's a lot of high hopes for this freshman coming in next year named Lincoln Krimholtz, Krimholtz, something like that. Pronunciation's tough until they say their names on TV. It's a weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Honestly, it's, yeah. I think it's Is that it's like the entire reason that like the sports announcers have like jobs? At, you know, because <laughs> like I don't want their commentary at all. Like it usually is just pissing me off at, at best. Mm-hmm. At, you know, but like at, yeah, they say the names out loud that you're like. Fun and fun. You're looking at the back of the jersey and you're like fun criminal. Kineholtz, Lincoln Kineholtz. Sure, we yeah. still have not heard anybody say that out loud. Um yeah, is that is that their entire job just to pronounce the names correctly? Which I've done some high school games, and the guys I've worked with, they'll go over and ask like coaches that are kind of on the sideline, really not doing a whole lot. Um, you know, they'll go and they'll write um, stuff down. Yeah, like you know, how you say this kid's last name. You know, right. so they don't screw it up on air. Which, that's genius. That's, yeah, it's part of the job. Yeah, Lincoln Kineholtz. He is. Oh, it doesn't tell me. I thought it'd tell me his like. Height and weight doesn't tell me any of that shit. I don't need to know. I'm just curious. I just want to know if he ran. If he, does he run the ball or? <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. He does run the ball a lot. Good. Yeah. I don't yeah. know about how much, but he. Then you got to remember, CJ done. had the flu last year in Ann Arbor, so give him a little bit of a break. He That's had fair. a cold, and he's six four, one eighty five. That's why I love him. <laughs> Yeah, so did Jordan. <laughs> Not Fleming. Michael. Um, <laughs> so let's see here. Okay, hot take number two. Is Michigan's running back top three? Donovan Edwards? Yep. Joke's on you. I don't know who that is. Number seven. You'll know a lot about him after Saturday. <laughs> Probably know too much about him already. Well, he, he did have, what, an 85 and a 75-yard touchdown run in Columbus about a month ago. I figured you were paying attention. I mean, I didn't bother to learn his name. Oh, <laughs> top three is in in the nation. He's, that's the um in, or in fuck of all like time I, at Michigan. Know. What are we talking? Top top three in the nation right now. No, I can't. I can't put him in top three. Oh, why is that? He's in the Corum. Top. Corum did all the work this year. Or, okay, that's who I meant. Oh, Corum. you make okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Number. He was number two. Two. Yeah. 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 Corum. Blake Corum definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Top three. Oh yeah. That's fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think he was the best tailback in the country. Really? Blake Corum was. Yeah. So I was freaked out when they said, well, he ain't going to play against High State. Because, you know, they have the number three The number three uh, person coming off the board in the draft right now is Bijan Robinson, running back out of Texas. In that NFL, that's fine. NFL's yeah. a different game. I, I'm talking collegiately in football okay. right now. Blake Corum is the best tailback. Because they get the running backs in the NFL. Mm-hmm. What are you? Are you a third down back? Are you somebody's catching the ball out of the backfield? Or are you a full, are you, are you, you Jonathan a, Taylor? We, can we count on you? Oh, you're yeah. already hurt this year. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah. I, 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 you think it's is it harder to find like that uh, that Joe Mixon anymore? Yeah, yeah, good, good yeah. example. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Um, yeah, Blake Corum. He could be break all rushing records in college football. Be the Heisman Trophy winner, mm-hmm. and then get drafted fourth round. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, True. It's just different. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you don't, it, and every team is looking for something different. Yeah, you know, either they're looking for that all down back. Like, like I think Donovan Edwards will be a better pro than Blake Corum. Okay, is because he bigger? He, he's bigger, like he's faster, and I think he can catch the ball a little bit better. Yeah. So yeah, you know, Michigan used Blake for what he was for, and that was mm-hmm. to run behind all them big guys. It's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I, I I I was I was curious about that. I mean, I thought I thought he just played really well all year. Corum has. I'm not um, kidding you. When they when he couldn't play against High State, I thought we were done. Really? Yeah, because Don Edwards had a cast on, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how effective is he going to be? He didn't play the last two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So true. I am a realist. Okay. Like the, same I, here. I I I'm probably the most pessimist Michigan fan. You like my friends almost kick me out of my own house sometimes. They're like, you need to stop being so negative. Yeah. Well, I just it softens the blow when things go wrong. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then when something good Hope happens, the best, it's like plan for the worst. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. Thank you, Colin. Yes. What is your top bowl game story? <laughs> 
Oh, the time we beat the fuck out of Alabama. And <laughs> that's, that's an easy one for that you time guys. we went to the Bourbon Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and the Mud Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, think? I come up with a couple others, but that was pretty. That was it. That's, that's, that's 100% a solid number one. one. Beating Alabama. Beating Alabama was solid. That, that was, was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. I was so excited, especially with a second string quarterback, third, 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 third string quarterback, third, bro. Yeah, yeah. Third. R.I.P. Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Well. No, for, it was was that was it Dwayne Haskins? Yeah, because Cardell Jones got hurt. It was a hundred. Wait, no, are you talking on. about Let who the check. quarterback was when we played? It was a hundred percent Cardell Jones. Was it? Oh, oh no, that's yeah, right. Hold that's hold right. Hold it was Cardell. Yeah, twelve was, gauge. Twelve was, gauge. Twelve okay. gauge. Two thousand fourteen. Yep. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Because yeah. Barry got hurt. Don't act, don't act like you don't know about football and what you're doing. <laughs> you're doing a good job. This guy over here, he's lost. Just I, don't have to say football. Not all of it, and pretty much just since like you know approximately. 2012. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2014 was 12 gauge, right? Yep. And yep. That, is that the it, year okay, that they so beat was, Alabama in the semi? Right? And then yes, they beat Oregon. Yes. Yeah. It, that so he played so his first game as a starter was the Big 10 championship against Wisconsin and we like it was it like 59, 59 to 0. Uh, yeah. That was insane. Yes. I was losing my shit cuz JT got hurt playing Michigan. Yeah, you threw Haskins in there and I got a little I was like, "Whoa." I know, I know. It's not well, Haskins. But, it was, but it was, we did have Haskins still. We he was there. Cuz Barrett at the time. Ha- Barrett got hurt yes, against and then, Michigan. And then Haskins Cardell came in. came in. and then the That was year, 2017. And then the year following, though, that was when Cardell got hurt and Haskins came in. Because it, w- huh? it wasn't Haskins. Who, it, was, it was Barrett got hurt. Haskins came it in was Mil- It was Miller, Barrett, Cardell, um, 2014. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I know right. more that's about right. your team that's than right. you do. Man, there's a, <laughs> hey, the quarterback that quarterback room was was stacked. We were on our third string quarterback. <laughs> that quarterback room was stacked, and Todd Herman was leading the helm. Seriously, by the time JT got hurt in the Michigan game, we already had Tom, that fairly sorry. fairly sewn up. Like, but everybody was like, "We are fucked. We are losing the Big Ten championship because Wisconsin looked good, uh, you know, and we are not going to the playoff, and this yeah. all sucks." And then just. You know, twelve yeah. gauge explosion. Ohio like State I, cut Alabama lead to twenty one twenty right before halftime and got the ball to start the second half on the sixth play of the drive. Jones found Devin Smith for a forty seven yard touchdown. It was. Great. I watched it at Zach Allison's house with he and uh, Jay Herbst, <laughs> okay. and they were they were going like both Buckeye fans, right? Oh yeah, and they're both going at it like just like fighting and arguing, and I'm like. Yeah. This is comical. Like one was like, "It's yeah. over, they suck," and then the other was like, "Shut up, they're signing the halftime." <laughs> and then when they start coming back, like, "See, I told you." you know, like, I'll tell you another great. I don't. I don't think this. Was I didn't a, know why you kept talking about asking. Sorry, like, my bad. Was, my bad. So one of one What's of my in that is that coffee. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, one of my other favorite games though to watch, and I don't think this was a bowl game. I think it was a. I think it was a. Uh, um, it was conference championship, uh, which was Auburn and Alabama when Auburn ran the fucking oh the field goal ran the fucking field goal yeah. back for a touchdown. Yeah. Me and my brother in law were at that. Fat Jacks and like everybody just started going berserk. That changed War Eagle. You, I haven't yeah. heard War Eagle in Lima, Ohio, scream that hard ever. <laughs> that changed, you know, who was all getting in and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was crazy. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was intense. Um, just like Indians, fucking intense. Okay, hot take I, number four. <laughs> hot take number four. The, I never did answer the game top bowl game because I. Oh, we don't have very many. Like, <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, I mean, like Harbaugh's not won a bowl game. I mean, he won his. He won in 2015 against Florida. Yeah. But before hey, how that, about your boy last night though? My boy last night. Yeah, what Fickle happened? coming in ten minutes into Wisconsin, and didn't you? Did, I thought you knew him, right? I, I partied with him at the Kenny Chesney concert, yeah. Oh, okay. He saved Zach Allison from getting arrested and kicked <laughs> out. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, That's right. Yeah, true story. <laughs> he was with Vrabel and Kerry Coombs. Great time, great people. Yeah. And uh, long story short, he was like, is your boy legit? I was like, yeah, he's a chiropractor, man. He's a boy doctor. legit? <laughs> and he goes, I got this. Walks over to the sheriff. He was like, Whoosh. basically told him, he's like, high State team doctor is with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. That's awesome. True story. Kenny so Chesney, how, Tim McGraw concert down Cincinnati. Six, actually, six. But Ohio now, State how did you, Coach? I could could name. 
how did you, how did you get into i mean how did you know him though well we're just down there in that pit like they called yeah. it the sandbar pit whatever and in between shows we kind of looked over hey you know coach fickle and Vrabel and carrie Coon. yeah well see fickle's wife's from spencerville right and, i knew that and being that we're all from wapakoneta yeah my mom's family's from Spencerville. There I think she's like yeah, a she's fourth a, cousin or yeah, something. She's a Goki. She's a Goki. And then yeah. we're like, yeah, a small world. And so we just got talking. I was coaching at Minster at the time. Mm. They were recruiting our tight end. Oh, really? You know, one thing that, yeah, it just, yeah. great guys. Awesome, yeah. awesome time. Yeah. And then Zach uh, proceeded to tell him that I was a Michigan fan. Uh, and I was like, Zach, they 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 were liking me. You know, yeah. they, they gave me a <laughs> this chance. This is going great. I was making friends. And Vrabel's like, fuck Brady Hope. We're gonna kick his fucking fat ass. <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what, what happened, man? We were all just friends. We were friends like five minutes ago. Yeah. I wonder, has he developed a Nashville accent yet? <laughs> well, this was 2012. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this was when they were under Urban. They were all oh, on the staff so yeah. So together. Vrabel was coaching. Yeah, yeah. Vrabel was at Ohio State. State. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. True story. It was funny. That's true hilarious. Story. Can't make that one up. That's pretty good. <laughs> and I saw uh, Coach Fickle's wife at a wedding in June, and I DJed. And yeah. He wasn't there. His daughter was doing something with volleyball, yeah. and I went up, and I go, I got to ask. She goes, we tell that story all the time. She's like, I can't believe that's you. I go, well, I wasn't the one that he saved, but it was <laughs> yeah. my friend. Yeah. yeah. But I, I got to watch it. It was hilarious. Yeah, tell, tell, it. tell Coach the DJ was here, and, you know, he saw it, you know, and all that, but. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Tell him the DJ was here, not the Michigan fan. Yeah, yeah, about yeah. yeah. Wasn't the short Michigan guy? Yeah. That wasn't me, dude. He's uh, yeah, but he he did he did a pretty well last night coaching Wisconsin because I picked Oklahoma State. See, I didn't lie. think I didn't know he was coaching. I didn't watch. I well, thought he, he was, was just an observer on the it, sideline. That might have been it. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he had some input. At something. I don't know. I'm not. He was high fiving players anyway. High fives. Yeah, he was giving out high fives. Did see that? Teacher I do think record. Wisconsin's going to be on the way up with that. I fucking hate though that how they how the coaches do that. I mean, I mean, I, I like Fickle and all, but I, f- I, I, I fucking hate Brian Kelly for the way he fucking did Cincinnati before he went oh, to Notre I Dame. Saying, yeah. I I don't like like right before your players go to the biggest fucking battle of their life. You're like peace, yeah. I'm out. Wait till the end of the season. I hate that. Yeah, play it out. Fucking ride the ship. If you're the captain of the fucking ship, you go down with the fucking ship. So you wanted, That's all I'm saying. You wanted Fickle to stick around and coach in the bowl game against Louisville. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. That's all I'm Fair saying. Fair enough. I, yeah. That's all I'm saying. I right. can see if he was last year in the playoff before Alabama. It's like, <laughs> peace out. <laughs> yeah. On Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. But this year against Louisville, I, yeah. you know, you, you got to strike when the iron's hot. I get it, but at the same time, though, like when Brian Kelly did it, I was so fucking mad because I'm a UC fan second. Right. So, we like, about that. yeah. So, like, the fact that we had Marty Gilliard at wide receiver, <laughs> fucking Tony Pike at quarterback, and it, that's the first time ever a UC quarterback was, you know, he could be a Heisman. Right. What? Like, all this, I mean, so many good things. Travis Kelsey was our tight end, Jason Kelsey was center. And we were getting ready to play Florida and ten fucking Tebow. If you're scared, you can just drink the rest of this. And what? <laughs> and what happens? Not scared. It's not. It's not chocolate. He lucked out. It's the fourth one. I'm about to try the fourth one. And what happens though? Brian Kelly. You'll like that one. Brian Kelly does his exit to Notre Dame. Smell it immediately. Yeah. Here he goes. <laughs> I smell it immediately. Yeah, that's the one I just had. This one you just had? Yeah, it's good. But yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, understand. I don't like it. Go down with the but, shit. But I'm telling you, Wisconsin's going to... Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. And this is his This is his kind of audition for Ohio State, in my opinion. Like, Could be. if I can win in the Big Ten here, yeah, I'm your guy whenever Ryan Day decides I'm going to the NFL or if you want to fire him. So. Yeah, yeah. I can agree with that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of people, you know, it's out for Ryan Day's head right now. Yeah, 45 and 5 overall. I, fu- yeah, I, know. I, I hate I know. that. Oh, come I hate on. Me too. Seriously. What I hate ha- that. It's like, what have you done recently? You know, this whole yeah. era of this society. Like, give, give me results now. Yeah. It's bullshit. I, 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 what, yeah. you, well, because you, you asked me what coach I get rid of, I didn't say Ryan You know, Day. if, I, if, I if I Ohio State, no Michigan, way. because we base this whole show off this. Yeah. 20 years, Ohio State's won. In the beer. I'm trying to edge the beer in there. I understand. Yeah. 18 out of 20, right? Mm-hmm. One of 18 out of 20 since 2001? Yeah. If it doesn't go like that, say if it was all oh, teeter-totter back and forth, whoever's at home wins, Yeah. I don't think Ryan Day's even getting questioned right now. 
No, mm-hmm. but but the fact that they lost twice, which no one in or, or has my, seen and, yeah. since and two thousand. Yeah. yeah, it's my been brother, a long time. Yeah, my it's like brother's unheard of. Yeah, my brothers literally told me uh, over Christmas. I was like. They're like, you know, Ryan Day's on the hot seat, right? I was like, the fuck, he's not. No. They're like, oh, he, he's lost to Michigan twice. He has to be. He has to be on the hot seat. I was like, you're crazy. The only thing that one of my Buckeye comrades said that I did agree with was they didn't get better as the year went on. It some like they just seemed like once that Penn State, we've game, not put the whole thing together. You know, Northwestern. I agree with that. I agree with that. It started going down Maryland and then yeah. and then Michigan. We've not I agree put the with that, together. but you don't yeah. fire a guy that's forty five and yeah. five, and he's and, I don't and guess what? He's playing Saturday in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. No <laughs> shit. If we, exactly. dude, if we end, he's a top end four team in the two, yes. Yeah, if we end eleven and two, we're one of the best teams in the entire fucking country. Uh, yeah. You know, it's yeah. uh, and he knows it too. He said it after the Michigan game because I know where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I know yeah. what the expectations I did, are. Now, I did love Ryan Day's comment when he came on College Game Day, and they asked him, they said, if you do, this was before the Kansas State win and before the, what was the other team that lost, uh, got us in? USC. USC. USC, yes, thank you. Which actually was a game I enjoyed watching a lot. That was a great game. Yeah, was, yeah. 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 Utah looked killer in the Dude, second half. Yeah. USC didn't deserve in. I mean, no. they, they, we'd be watching a blowout I, Saturday. I just had a lot of fun watching I don't Utah. like Utah Caleb in the second half Utah's of that game was watch. like, Caleb Williams, one of the Heisman. Cranking. I did not like that at all. Uh, sp- how do you how do you give that guy the Heisman after he writes "fuck Utah" on his fingers? How, how that's does classless? Exactly. Thank you. That's I mean, all that's I'm what I do. So probably it's a really bad move. Yeah, but like the Heisman, you shouldn't do it. But the Heisman is like that's like the no, I'm a, I highest I'm achievement. Saying, I'm saying like yeah. that's a really good reason why he shouldn't get it. Yeah, yeah, but he did get it. Well, all these guys vote early too. I don't get that. Yeah. Now, why are you allowed to send your ballot in at the beginning of the year or middle of the year? You should have to I, yeah. wait till all games are completed. I agree. That's how the playoff works. Yep. Yep. I agree. I agree. That's yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So okay. Uh, top. The here's the next two uh, hot takes. Okay. The f- we're gonna do. I'll go five and then I'll go four because I feel like we've talked more about Ohio State than Michigan in this. Um, so we'll go five first. Does Michigan beat TCU? Absolutely. How how confident are you in that game? I think it's close for a half. Yeah, because I do think TCU will move the ball and they'll score points. They they but, they but, don't run the ball at all. No, but they man, their run defense is really bad. Oh, really? And then you know they've come out and said like we're we have to stop Michigan's off running offense to, and we'll be successful. Well, you said you're setting done. Top three, you have a top three running back, so that makes sense. Well, he's hurt. Remember the the one that I said is top three. Quorum, he's he's had surgery. He's done. Oh, is he done for the year? Yeah, he's not playing. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-mm. Okay, but they still have the guys up front, which yeah. to me makes their entire team. Okay, so I think close for two, a solid line. two to two and a half quarters, and then Michigan by fourteen points. But I don't see them lose. I, I think last year it was like, oh, we're here, we're finally made the playoffs. Yeah, and then you ran into Georgia. Nobody yeah. was beating. Yeah, yeah. This year, and I don't want to. Jinx Say it. TCU, not even jinx. Just I don't want to show any disrespect to them. Michigan's focused, and they're looking at the bigger prize. I, I truly believe that. Okay. At the end of the year, last year, JJ, uh, Andrew Anthony, and Donovan Edwards stood on that sideline, watched Georgia celebrate, and that picture stood out to me. It was like, we will be back. This yeah. is what we want to do, and it was motivation for the entire season. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, what about what about you, Colin? What's your take on Michigan and TCU game? Pretty uneducated, but just on the little I know, I would say I, I would say I, I honestly I agree. Michigan wins. Yeah, um, I'm not sure it's quite as much. I would if you'd asked me to pick a score, I'd have said Michigan by seven. Is what mm-hmm. I would have said. The spread seven and a half. That's fair. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I didn't even know that. See? Turns out. Oh my God! I you're, fuck. You're a genius. I'm learning. <laughs> I, call I, am a genius. I should. <laughs> Um, I would take the over though, fifty eight and a half. Just I don't, for any betting, I, you know. I would too. <laughs> I would say. I mean, T, TCU's no joke though. I mean, no, I, they you, deserve you and to I know that. Yeah, no shit. Uh, and so I would say, I, I would say, I would say Michigan wins, but I don't think it. I, I don't think they start running away with it in the second. Half. I don't either. I think they. I think they go back and forth the whole time. I yeah. think TCU's earned to be there, even though they lost that Big Twelve championship game. I feel like those games are meaningless. Like, USC's probably sitting there going, we should have just said we all had COVID and then didn't play Utah, we'd be in the playoff. Yeah. Here's my here's my. I take. know that gets talked about, you know, should a team be penalized for playing an extra game? Which they didn't know? penalize TCU for losing. They kept them at three. I don't understand that. 
But that's what we talked about at the beginning of the, this. Do remember. I think Ohio State's the third best team in the country? Absolutely. TCU, four. Sure. That's sure. probably what it should be ranked. Yeah. But, but they don't. They, they don't know what they want. They know, they know what they're yeah. doing. They know what they want. Yeah, they're not They don't want to see a, re, a rerun of something that just got played a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. If we're going to see it, we're going to see it in Los Angeles, January 9th. On the big game. I will not go to work for the next. <laughs> I swear How many to days God. you said four? You're gonna take four days. It means a week off. A week. week off. I think I even somebody somebody <laughs> somebody put something on my calendar for the tenth, and like I didn't think about it at the time, but I thought about it like yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to that. Uh, you know, <laughs> if Michigan wins Saturday, the first thing I'm doing is putting in a personal day for Tuesday, January 10th. If if Michigan and Ohio State both win. Then, then, yeah, I'm taking the rest of that fucking week off. Like, there's no way. I don't think I'm even playing. Boston or Drexler are going to go to school the next day. That's fair. Because they're going to want to stay up and watch it. <laughs> That's you know? fair. That's fair. I seriously I'll think I need more time parent. off if we lose. Oh, I'm I would have be to, like, too. sit I am. at home and, like, read books. They, and, like, they, they don't miss school. Know. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> if they don't miss school, yeah. they have perfect attendance. Yeah. We can miss one day here and there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what am I doing? I'm praying. When's, for ice, though, so I don't have to burn a personal day. Okay, seri- <laughs> right, right. <laughs> serious question. When's the last time Michigan won a national championship? 1997. Okay. There you go. Um, I, I wouldn't know that, but seriously, like, I mean, it's, yeah. it, let, was my here's, junior year high let, school. Let them do it once yeah. every 25 years, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. yeah. Here's here's my hot take on Michigan and TCU. Hot take, yes. Okay. So, after the Kansas State game, Michigan is better than Kansas State. So, the fact that Kansas State beat TCU tells me automatically that um, – that Michigan will beat TCU. However, everybody plays to their opponent, and I think TCU has a lot of fight in them. I think their quarterback has a lot of fucking fight in them. Love him. Um, it, it could be a very close game, I think. I say Michigan by um, by 10. Yeah. I mean, so you're yeah. basically in between what Colin and I said. Yeah. You know, I said yeah. 14, he said 7, you're 10. Yep. Take the over 58 and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Back to the number four hot take. Does Ohio State beat Georgia? Ohio State by three. Wow. You know what the spread is on that? I'm never going to not bet on Ohio State. I don't care. What is the spread? Seven. On that? Is it? They're getting seven. It was six and a half. Now they're getting seven. So did you see the did you see the AI uh, computer generated game? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh, had Ohio State winning by Allen four. Iverson computer generated. <laughs> <game? What is laughs> <this? laughs> yeah. It was uh, it had, had Ohio State uh, winning by fourteen. And that could happen. It, could. it really could. It could. Because their offensive firepower. Mm-hmm. Who's better than Marvin Harrison Jr.? We haven't talked about no, him No, no, I hear, I'm just am skeptical about how much an yeah. AI program can you know, really know did about. Did you hear like, how pissed off he was that he didn't win wide receiver of the year? The, uh, it was, what is it? The, the Billikoff. Yeah, yeah, the Billikoff. He award. shut off. He's, uh, who won it? I forget who won it. That's what I'm saying. I think it was the USC wide receiver. That's what I'm saying. So I USC don't even know who rec- won it. USC wide receiver won the fucking Bolitnikoff, and then you have the fucking Heisman going to their now, quarterback. Now, was that the kid that transferred from Pitt that won it last year? Is I that who know. won it? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Out. Somebody from USC is the one who's out giving out hand jobs. I mean. <laughs> Left-handed upside down? Yeah. That was Micah Parsons in the locker room. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear about that? No. Came out that they said uh, they said if you don't want to if you don't want to know what uh, NFL players are up to don't don't Google Michael Parsons in 2018 Penn State locker room. A lot of stuff happens in the Penn State locker room. <laughs> Showers. Dude, we're just gonna shut Penn State down because I'm cool with that. You know Kellemeyer. You know Bill. Yeah. Kellemeyer? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like Wait, is he an t- easy target when it comes to Penn State? Oh really? Oh well, yeah. He's a big Penn State fan. <laughs> Yeah, you know one. You know, do you know uh, Dan Wilson? Mike Brady. Yeah, Big Dan. Yeah, Dan calls me up one day. I'm we have a uh, we have a cottage in Pennsylvania, and it's we have very it, very spotty cell service. We're we're in like a village, right by by the Allegheny River, and uh, Dan calls me up, and it's like I I just can't hear him. So I travel up through the mountains, go into town, wherever. I call him back. I was like, hey, sorry, Dan. I was like, couldn't really hear you. I was like, I'm in a kind of a dead zone in Pennsylvania. He goes, you at Jerry's house? <laughs> Oh, big Dan. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I was like, man, you don't miss a beat. Hit, hit the shower. <laughs> and you know what, and what I love about Big Dan Wilson? Whenever he sees you, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Dustin Doby. You know, he's like on air. You know, I'm yeah. like, hey, Big Dan, what's up, man? He's like, how the hell are you? Like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
You know, he he did the, when I played in high school. He was on the call. Yeah, they did the local you know games on TV. Yep, and uh, he did a great job. Okay, Belenikoff Award. Uh, I went to. He's unwrapping over there. He's unwrapping. Oh, did you figure it out? Did you go for it? I've had two of these before. I've had both of those. Oh, it was a Tennessee wide receiver. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Samsonite. I no, was way the answer, off. The answer is no. I did not figure it out. I'm pissed off at myself. Samsonite. Yeah. Oh, uh, I might have had this one before, too. But, yeah, it's what I was talking about. Well, you can talk about them anytime you want. I didn't want to spoil it for anybody who may not. That was part of the segment we have set up on the itinerary at the end. But, you know, you wanted to open the presents early. Nobody stopped yeah. me. <laughs> Nobody stopped oh, it me. Was, but uh, one, of, one of the top guys, though, on that list, though, was Jordan Addison, USC. Okay. Ohio State was guys. Ohio State Marvin Harrison. Was so and again, that, Marvin Harrison. List. We're talking about offensive firepower. Oh, there State. he was. He was on the list. Uh, what's number two's name? N- Najigba. Ubuka. Ubuka. Yeah, yeah. Mecca Ubuka. Ubuka. They got him. They got mm-hmm. Stovert tight end. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I mean, they Stover's can score. Least. They can score yeah. points. Yeah. Well, in the in the in the, in the running back room is going to be healthy. Yeah. I think. I, I, mean, I know. It sounds got, like Henderson's not going to play. Henderson's not going to play. Yeah. But you got Miles Williams. Miles Williams. How about the kid that tore it up against Maryland and got two carries against Michigan? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, dude, I don't know. So I, I don't know the kids' names. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then number nineteen. I don't know his name either. Against Michigan, he was kicking our ass. Like, Can't and then they just stopped either. giving it to him. Like you have to look up the Mich- uh, high state depth chart in the running backs. But he some water. You guys in water. This is, uh, this is the rinsing water right yeah. there. This is Colin's drinking water. Well prepared. I've had three of those, I think. I couldn't get the names of any of them. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going with this one next. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is a super light beer. So anyway, I'll give you, I'll give you my Georgia High State. Prediction. Yeah. Let's hear it. High state by three. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I know I, I know all the football. Yeah. I, just, I know I everything know about football. football. I, know everything. I am a football genius. Ohio State, hire me. Uh, you know, I'm here. I just don't think Georgia is what they were last year, and that's what everybody sees them as. ESPN you hire can't me. lose that many draft picks and be what you were last year. You're not. That's fair. And Ohio State, I, I'm sorry, they got just as much firepower. So I know all the football. I would not. I would not make a boring. You teach, me to, yeah. you teach me to football. You teach me to football. You come to tree outs. <laughs> you come to tree outs. <laughs> I'd make a. You coming over Saturday? Right? Make, I feel like you would make my party more fun. I mean, I'm a fun guy. You should go. We'll both go. Yeah. Let's both go. Yeah. Let's do okay. it. You bring the kids. The kids will have fun. Yeah. That, yeah. That'll work great for me. <laughs> I don't have any it's like a free sit. I, I know, I know. When they all play together, it's great. Boston today, she's like, "That's why we like going over to Jen and Ryan's." Dad, if it's going to be over fifty, we could play outside and play. I can go see it. I go, "Well, it might be raining." She's like, "But we could go outside." And I go, "You're right. We could. <laughs> Whatever it takes." Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I'm in. I don't bring the girls. kids that I'm aware. I'll of, tell Chelsea I, tonight. I just pick up some kids. I'll bring them. Yeah, because we were supposed to go to. You know what the best part about kids somewhere. is? <laughs> Making them. Wait. <laughs> so if you want to work on that, well, I've been we, trying. We, are, to, we are working on that. I've been trying to do one without the other for some time now. I'm like doing good. <laughs> you know, solid, big guy's been looking out. A solid twelve years, been doing just fine. Uh, wait till the little guy starts looking out. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Imagine him. You know, no, nine months. No, no, as as a dad, father? His dad's going to have one of those charts. He go, well, you're more month one, month two. You'll be at the dinner table. He's going to be teaching you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't have any kids. I'm trying to keep it that way. <laughs> it's going great. All right, let's get into some current events, guys. Oh, it's been great current. talking Ohio State and Michigan football. No, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Me too. Um, Is there going to be a special show if they're both in? Dude, there's you, you want to like, come back? There's going to be like Colin crying and like just watching and like freaking the fuck out and like yeah. uh, you know like I'm cool with it though. You want to come back on for another one? If it's Michigan High State, yeah, I will be on. Okay. I say we get another Michigan fan on here, then. So that way it's like two versus two. I don't know if you want that. <laughs> you need like a half. You need like a half. A half like yeah. I'm a half. 
<laughs> like will I'll bring my from, son will root for michigan but like doesn't know <laughs> yeah. that much about that's it half. That's my half. son's half yeah it's yeah. half of me yeah. i'm like four times the size so even if he knows all the michigan <laughs> stuff i've got to like yeah right. that's got to even out there's there's math there i just fine. showed you he's got a he's got a blake quorum jersey now so. that's true he does yeah. he's I've right been there. wearing the same jersey since 2014 i love this thing you need to wash I got it. tear gassed in this thing. You need to wash it. Oh, I've been washing it. I smell it. <laughs> I've been washing it. He's lying to you, people. I wash it. All right. Let me see. Oh, who has more fun than us? Nobody. Nobody. This see, is great. This see, is a good time. See, that was, like, that was like Jim Harbaugh. He's like, who's got it better than us? Nobody. And you guys stepped right up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Who has more fun than us? Nobody. Good. Good. Oh, I get that from the Bengals, though. Oh, gotcha. Nobody. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> your your team's fun. in the playoffs, and mine isn't. Who's your team in the NFL? Browns, the Browns. Are you a Browns fan? Yeah. I, I went up to Cleveland that. last week when they beat the Ravens. You're welcome. Thank you. They Appreciate they that. Took care of them for you. Good deal. That's all we ask. Yeah. So yeah, that's little, all we have. <laughs> you guys, you guys up there don't do much. But could you beat the Ravens? <laughs> yeah. Do, oh, so speaking of NFL, though, real quick. Um, Baker Mayfield, you're a Browns fan. Yeah, how about him? So Good for him. So here's my take on this. And you're a coach, so you also I'd have kept him. Okay, okay. So here's my thing. A healthy Baker did fine in Cleveland. It's I, it's not even that though. I'd have gave him one more year, especially with first Watson off, he being played, suspended. First off, he played with a fucking messed up shoulder all year. Yes. Okay, I mean, I mean that's gotta that's gotta speak well, that, to the volume of type of person he is. Well, that was the second. Thing the, the if you want to say firstly the first thing he did was he planted a flag and <laughs> I have <laughs> never forgiven him for that that was never there's a lot of people that, that hate him because of that I like I like I football. hate him for that I like I, I like football ba- Baker's a dog I hope man. his shoulder like falls off <laughs> never liked him. oh that's good but I, I will said, say I, I will say this though okay here's here's my thing though about Baker um, real quick and me and Colin actually talked about this too. The thing about Baker is, is that in what the last six years, right, six seven years that he's been in the league, whatever, something like that. In the last six seven years, this dude has legit um, had six different coaches on two teams. That's the thing. How many different coaches and coordinators can you go through and be exactly. successful? Exactly. And now he gets into a system that it's it's Sean McVay's. That's that's his team. That's his it's his culture. Right. It's his way. It's his playbook. That's it. There, you you got to learn that. That's it. There's no difference now, that's coming. Now, now, listening to a Browns insider the other day, it, this made sense. Stefanski and both McVay come under that uh, Shanahan tree, coaching mm-hmm. tree. So it wasn't too much for him to learn right away and be on the fly. Sure. Which is he's you know that's a nice transition for somebody uh-huh. like you know Baker to go yeah. into and 51 points the other night. What are you kidding me? Kill the Browns ain't scored that in four weeks. <laughs> no, no. And he's got no name wide receivers right no. now. No. Cooper Cup's hurt. I mean, I'll take Cam Akers in the backfield. That's cool. But he still went out with 20. Dude, Cam Akers, four of is 28. Probably, Cam Akers is probably the 32nd best running back in the league. <laughs> How many teams are there? 32. 32. He might be 33. <laughs> 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 he didn't even play half the year I because know. they thought they were going to trade him. Right. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I mean, kudos to Baker. Yeah, that's, that's good what for I'm him. Saying. I hope he. I hope they keep him. If Stafford like retires, they Stafford's going to gonna retire. Yeah, soon. keep Baker. He's got a lot of issues. I think. Um, love Stafford though. Stafford's a great quarterback though too. Dude's been fucked around in Detroit, Detroit his whole life. So, which if he was there now, <laughs> boy. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of that though, you gotta you gotta attribute to golf, I think. Yeah, he golf's been playing out one of and six, and then yeah. turned into a six and one run up until this last week. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. So First, so so current events. Current events here. So Hugh Jackman hints that his and Ryan Reynolds' characters will hate each other in the new Deadpool three movie. They will hate each other. Yeah. So it says with Hugh Jackman set to make his Marvel Cinematic Universe debut as Wolverine in Deadpool three, the X Men actor has shed light on his relationship with Ryan Reynolds' character in the upcoming film. How do I characterize it? Ten being really close, zero being being the reality. We're zero. We're opposites. We hate each other. Jackman said to the Empire Film Podcast. Yeah. I'm just talking from my perspective. Uh, Logan's frustrated by him, wants to be a million miles away from him, or wants to punch him in the head. Unfortunately, he can't be a million miles away from him in this movie, so I'm probably going to punch him in the head a lot. That. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, just what I know about the characters that tracks full 
tracks 100 percent yeah i'd go see it yeah yeah you know because they're they're actually best friends in in, uh right reality oh yeah yeah they're they're that's hilarious characters are gonna hate each other right yeah yeah most characters are gonna hate deadpool nobody likes it nobody wants to be friends with that guy (laughs) nobody wants to be friends with that guy he's hilarious nobody wants to be friends with him yeah you know um so a french hospital pays man sixty five thousand dollars after series of errors resulted in the removal of his penis (laughs) <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more money than that. <laughs> so a French man is $65,000 richer after surgery left him without his penis. According to New York Post, a French hospital compensated a man nearly $65,000 after a series of errors during surgery resulted in the total removal of his penis. The procedure, which took place at the Nantes uh, University Hospital, left him with no feeling where his penis used to be. I have hatred towards this doctor who did not listen to me. The, unidentified, the unidentified victim told local rag French Blue he played Russian roulette with me. It's not fair. You see, I, I, I paid a doctor in 2016 for the, you know, remove the bullets from the gun. Yeah, the little snip, snip. I can't imagine. Here's the thing. Huh. What's, what's the surgery is the thing? Because, like... Because there there might be a realistic. I mean, all surgery comes with risk, and some comes with a lot of risk. Yeah, is, is this the kind of thing where like the guy knew going in, like, hey, this is this is a this is a potential reality here. I mean, it just really is. Or was it like the guy was trying to cut off a leg and he cut off the wrong leg? Here's like what that, you know? here's what it says. I'll, I'll I'll read on here. According to the Cleveland Clinic, uh, the procedure occurred after the man, a father of three, had been diagnosed with a carcinoma. In an effort to deal with the tumor, a urologist at the hospital made the decision to remove the man's penis. Indeed, he had removed everything, the man said. He had just left the testicles and had cut at the base. I'm really devastated, and it's shameful. The victim added, you can't replace a feeling of a penis with several sensors. <laughs> what do you leave the testicles for at that point? Like, why are they still there? Oh, no. It's just what I'm saying. It's like, well, it's on the internet. It's true. Like, this has really happened? This really happened. The victim's lawyer initially sued for 1 million euros, a lawsuit which was subsequently rejected by the French court. However, he reportedly plans to file an appeal on the grounds that the psychological damage was not that, taken into account. That's what I'm saying. The dollar amount tells, uh, like, the dollar amount, I'm just reading between the lines here. But I'm like, grand. I'm like, I'm like, there had to have been some, like, there had to have been some extent to which the guy, like, had to have been warned he was getting into this. Like, I mean, yeah, it was seriously, yeah. right? Wouldn't you think so? You would think so, yes. So we call this "idiots in the news," or is there like a title for this <laughs> segment? Or Florida man, Florida man. <laughs> At least it was some French guy. We don't need yeah. any of them around. <laughs> You're what the French call les incompetents. <laughs> All right. French don't like me. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> uh, I was just in France a few weeks ago. <laughs> you were? Like so, <laughs> oh, so this isn't just a coincidence. This is a true story? <laughs> he was the so urologist. Are you guys, guys going to cut some guy's dick off? <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go, guys. I thought he was walking. <laughs> right? A U.S. Life, expect- or U.S. life expectancy falls for second year in a row, according to CDC report. Not surprising. But it's terrible. Why is that, though? Why do you think? Um, I I read some about this. There are a couple things. COVID's obviously been a really big deal in it. Okay. Um, it's been a major player in it. Um, so have things like heart disease and things related to obesity and also depression, I think. Um, yeah. But at COVID, I think, was a major player in it. This first show was really positive and a lot of fun. Way to bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, no, I, read, he's, Colin, I read some about he's, that. Colin's right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. all those. I, I just happened to read about this all before. All those combination. So Co- as, COVID was a major oh, player. Yeah. 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 I always yeah. said, like, because there's people that, that uh, questioned it, like, well, the is, increase, is this even a real thing? Yeah. I, yes, it is. It's if you have underlying making it up? <laughs> it, yeah. illness just, issues, yeah. like, you know, whether it is diabetes or, you know, some other kind of illness, it attacks that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was, I mean, I had friends, like, they didn't get out of the hospital so because it didn't, of it. It didn't really lower as much as I thought it was. It was it was a 5.3% drop, so it went from 77 to 76.4 um, is the age. Okay, 
it's still a pretty big deal though because it's no, not, I'm not saying it's not a big deal. I'm just saying it's like it's not like 77 to 65. That that maybe that article says I don't remember for sure, but like for the life expectancy to drop, it's not happening in a long time. Oh, um, okay. It's 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 just not. Uh, yeah, it know. really makes me uncomfortable when you guys fight. <laughs> You, where I, I wouldn't say we're fine. I'm just saying. Yeah. It, I'm saying it's a big no. deal, not because you're going to you live. Stop. A, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's just a big deal because it doesn't happen a lot. So yeah. it says, uh, according to the report, which is titled "Mortality in the United States 2021." Well, the final that's funny. <laughs> the final mortality data for last year for shows last. eighty thousand five hundred two more deaths in the country uh, during 2021. Um, the increase is linked to COVID nineteen and drug overdose deaths. That's what it says. Yeah. It was so much more fun to talk about college football and playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've heard it said before that we're the first generation that might not live as long as their parents, which no, that's you know, so probably accurate. Yeah. Now, here's the yeah. thing. Here's the other thing. My life dad, expectancy has grown. My dad. Right my dad's been a smoker his whole life. Fourteen mm-hmm. to he's now going to be seventy two. Since January. he was fourteen. Since he was fourteen, he smoked cigarettes. That's crazy. And he's on an oxygen tank. You know, he's in and out of the hospital. But what about these kids doing the vapes and whatever else is in that crap? Like, what, I mean, I mean the, there's no, there's no. The science isn't behind it. The yet. science isn't behind it yet. Yeah, yeah but it's fucking terrible. Like, oh, is, yeah, any, but, is anybody want to claim that it's not like? It? But I'm saying we we step forward, you know, for, forty years from now. Yeah, is that worse than the Marlboro Man? You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. we don't know. Yeah. Oh, it was a terrible thing, but like, I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly impressed by the marketing. Like, they successfully perpetrated it. A, an addiction in an entire generation that was unlikely to start smoking cigarettes in the first place. Like, I mean, yeah. it's a horrible thing. It's incredible yeah. marketing. I mean, I can't believe it happened. It's well, insane. It was, it was hot chicks and fast cars back in the day. Two, two market cigarettes, that's what it was. I'm saying Cowboys. I'm saying the, the current generation, people my I've age never or even a little I've smoked a cigarette younger. in my life. Yeah, really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've smoked a cigar. Probably. You know, I mean, yeah. it, you know, celebrate when Michigan beats high state and do that, but... Yeah. Never have put a cigarette. So, I mean, those that struggle with that addiction, I, I would never know. Yeah, like, my mom quit. She had acupuncture done. She hasn't touched it for 20 years. But my dad just couldn't couldn't put it down. Mm. So I've seen it from both sides. Yeah. But it just sucks, you know. I mean, it it's, it's, a, it's, it's an addiction. That it's tough for people to beat. Yeah. Um, in other news, though, sneakerheads react to East Bay shutting down. I did read that. It's like in the next month they're, yeah, they're shutting down. Yeah. I don't know what East Bay is even. It's like I've, a sneaker I've always, online. I've always uh, related East Bay to baseball bats. Wasn't well, that East Bay? It was. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I never played baseball, but so East Bay, uh, they, all sports apparel. At the end of December, they're done. At the end of this year, yeah, you could get. You know, whatever Nike jersey you wanted from any of your favorite teams, or you could get cleats, or you could get, like he said, bats. And mm-hmm. it was a magazine for that. Yeah. And uh, they're shutting down. Yeah. Which, what need is there for them? I mean, when you <laughs> online yeah. anymore, you could. Oh, so apparently they had, they were very, uh, everybody liked East Bay because, or the sneakerheads liked East Bay because they had a, uh, um, they came out with a magazine that they would, uh, send to people that had all the sneakers and prices listed on it that you could buy a shirt yes, from East Bay. They did. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the East Bay magazine started in two thousand three. I, I remember in middle school I ordered my track shoes from East the, Bay. The very the very first I mean the very first shoes on East Bay was the gray air pennies four. Well wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought shoes online. The Penny Hardaway, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't own a lot of shoes though. Certainly not a sneaker head. I could make shoes last for ten years. I can't, the boots I, I'm wearing right now might be about that old. Yeah. Pretty, I, they're pretty close. These kids look at me in the classroom. They're like, Mr. O, you wore those last year. I was like, <laughs> I can't make sneakers. They're comfortable long, now. I, I broke them right, in. It took right? me 180 the days. Sneakers. I buy the same sneakers over and over and over yeah. again. Okay. Uh, and, I agree. <laughs> an 88-year-old man looking to have World War I explosive in his rectum removed causes bomb scare at a hospital. That, you, that is the title. I have what? a lot of questions. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Is it say World War One or World War Two? World War One. <laughs> so it says. No, we just no, got no, no, okay. talking about people. The, Eighty-eight, living long 88 time. year old man. This, ar- this article is fake. World War One ended in nineteen eighteen. Right, so her, our uh, historian I know, I over know. here, he's going to call you out. World War One this... ended in nineteen eighteen. If he was a kid, so let's just read the article and let's see what it says. Okay, and I got a, I, I got an opinion on this whole reading thing for this show. We'll Did I let get him, graded? We'll, 
We'll let him finish it. I got an A in math, all right? <laughs> World War I ended in 1918. That so 2022, if the guy's 88 years old, what the fuck? He had his, he had his times tables at the dinner table. Don't forget. Don't uh, so it says a French <laughs> hospital had to partially evacuate after a man came in with an interesting case on Saturday night. The New York Post reports that an 88-year-old man paid a visit to the hospital St. Mousset in Toulon, France, because he had a World War I artillery shell wedged in his rectum. He needed the item removed, and many hospital staff was concerned it would explode in him. According to the French newspaper, the Nice Maitin, uh, he told staff that the item was uh, demilitar- demilitarized. Am I saying that right? So this happened after World War I. Probably, yes. Yeah. This well, led the hospital to clear out part of its hospital from 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. local time, particularly the evacuation of adult and pediatric emergencies, as well as the diversion, I'm sure Dude, they mean division, what is going on in France right of now? incoming emergencies. Uh, according to a hospital Cut spokesperson, off, right? Like, intensive care off. patients were also moved to a tent outside. The incident required the intervention of a bomb Disposal personnel. Explosives in the rectum? Like, what is happening in French hospitals right now? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go into France. I might not go back <laughs> for a little while. There. I always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. Awesome. Here you cool. go. I'm not going. It's cool. I saw it at the right time. After, it was four weeks ago. So not going back. <laughs> so it says, after everything was done, the, or, oh, let me read this part. We had to manage the risk in a, in a reactive framework. When in doubt, we took all the precautions, the rep said. Bomb disposal experts concluded that the object would not likely explode and reassured us by telling us that it was a collector's item from the First World War. There we go. Used by the French military. The hospital added. Hospital doctors then attempted to extract the shell, which is about eight inches long and over two inches wide. Dude, that's a big shell. So it, so it was a thing. <laughs> it was a thing that was saved from World War One and got that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. He had to undergo surgery to have it removed via his abdomen. He is on the mend and will likely fully recoup oh. from the incident. Ta- yeah, there. See? <laughs> That's what the towel's for. You guys laughed at me bringing the towel. I didn't laugh. You did not. That's fair. Look how Craig big laughed thing. a look, little look bit. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, see that toast? <laughs> That's Photoshop. <laughs> said it was eight inches long by two inches wide. It's like prison. I mean, you know, <laughs> they say it's eight inches, but really, uh, you know, it's like five and a half. <laughs> right, right. You can't even tell Ewald Financial Services sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody pooped all over it. Here, do you need a, Do you need an extra? Yeah, because you guys did a great job and didn't spill yours. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, JJ Watt just retired. Uh, just announced, "I'm retiring." It's been an absolute honor. What's your thoughts on that, Dobes? I don't know anybody that would be better at retirement than myself. <laughs> Touche. Touche. But congratulations to him. He just had a baby, too. His first. Well, I'm not. <laughs> My heart is filled with nothing but love and gratitude. It's been an absolute honor and pleasure. Dude, J.J. Watt was a beast, though. He was. Wisconsin guy. I'm sure Fickle's going to meet him soon. Bet he's already met him. You hey. think he's already met him? I don't know. Might have. Joe Thomas, Cleveland legend, yeah. still lives in Wisconsin. Played at Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mad respect. Yeah, JJ Watson. He's he was a he was a monster though. He's been a menace. And they in the, got they the got game. really good cheese, Colin, in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. I've never really had their cheese though. Have you had their cheese? No. Have you been to Wisconsin just to eat cheese? No. I've had some of their beer. Would you go to Wisconsin to go to Aaron Rodgers restaurant? I, mean, I can't see myself no. just traveling to go, well, I want to go to this restaurant or go eat this cheese. I'm not doing that. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. What, what's your guys' take on Aaron Rodgers? It's a prick. He's weird. <laughs> He's a prick. Dude, you just see weird. the way he talks to that coach? He's weird and I don't like him. <laughs> Dude, not only that, though, have you seen Have you seen how he treats some of the players? Yeah. He was on Jeopardy a while. Like these kids are, are they're rookies. Like, I don't I get like it. him. Well, He's weird. You know what? That's what you got. If you didn't like that, Did you should have went somewhere else. So I watched the just this most recent game. I forget who they played. The um, Dolphins. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And he handed the ball off to, is it A.J. Dillon? Mm-hmm. And he fumbled but got his fumble back. It was like right on the three-yard line going into the end zone. He got his fumble back or whatever. And um, 
it was Aaron Rodgers when he gets back to the when he gets back to the huddle or whatever. Aaron Rodgers looks at him. He's like, he's like, look at the computer. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers looks at him though, and he goes, "Come the fuck on." And like, I mean, you can read, you know, you can read their lips pretty easily. And um, AJ Dillon's just like, whatever, you know, it is what it is. And he didn't touch the ball for the rest of the like. I'm pretty sure they probably called some running plays because he was in the game, and they would not. And Aaron Rodgers refused to give him the ball. It's yeah. just like there you go. I'm familiar with his tenure with Jeopardy, <clears throat> and the dude's weird, and I don't like him very much. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> fair. Uh, that's all right. Uh oh, lost it. Crash. We just talked about Jeopardy more, or the beer. Yeah, we got to get to that. The beer. Yeah, we got to get to the unveiling. We do. Well, just if we're, lo- just if we're and, losing the news, let's go ahead and unveil it now. All right. Well, I, have you Take not away, tried Colin. one yet? Uh, I'll try it right now. I don't know, but this... I agree coffee about the favorite. Is it rough? Uh, I haven't even tried it. I smell it. It's not coffee. It's it's just a After having those other dark three, malt. though, yeah. that's, a, that's a tough follow-up. Let me see one of these. See, Ugh. hence the water. You get a little palate cleanser in there. I told you I'm allergic to water. Wow. <laughs> I agree about the favorite with Dobie, though. What's that? Who wrapped these things? I can't even open it. <laughs> you just tear it like Christmas. That's what I did. Tear it like Christmas. Get off. Did you know that was the one? I I would not have come up with with that. I did not. I've had it. I've what, had it more you, than once. Russian? Oh, Russian? Russian Imperial Russian Stout. Imperial Stout. Stout. North High. Drago Imperial High. Yeah. That's what you gave me. And I'm a Rocky <laughs> fan. You give me a Drago beer? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. As far as as far as far an Imperial Stout goes, I mean, an Imperial Stout is supposed to be the top end, like, punch you in the fucking teeth, like, you know, Stout. And I've had this before, and I like it. Um, you know, but it's... It's it's I think I, I think I said this at the time. It's it's a B for me in terms yeah. of in terms of like an imperial stout should be. It's a little wanting in terms of. I mean it. I mean an imperial stout should be the kind of thing so that, that was like, the, you, that was you, do, you can't that drink was the a light one. that was the super light one mm-hmm. the sunshine pilsner. Mm-hmm. I think I've had that before too. I would have never gotten the name. It like it's not, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's I've got a little left if you want it. Um, Strawberry blonde. That's what I liked. That was my Fre- favorite. You see we that went from? To fretboard. Yeah, we yeah, went to fretboard. We, fretboard. we had dinner at fretboard with uh, Aaron Holtz. And it was where's that at? The it's in Hamilton, great, same actually. same place Where as uh, Municipal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I I agree. Of the four beers we just drank, uh, I believe Reba, the strawberry blonde from fretboard, was my favorite. It was that very makes friendly. Sense. I liked it. Reba McIntyre. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fretboard I, was a good place. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I, I like the strawberry blonde. I, I, I like the Filthy McNasty. That's the name of the Russian Imperial Stout from North High. Filthy Rome. McNasty. I've, I've had it before. Um, <laughs> they've it. actually they've got new can art, I think. I think that used to be different. Oh, really? Yeah, it looks different, but the uh, the beer is the same. Strawberry it, blonde. I, I wouldn't have gotten the name for any of the three of these, yeah. which disappoints yeah. me personally, but I, I think I've had all these. Would you like this? What's that? That's the Pilsner. It's like your, it's like your, uh, your Bud Light, your Bush Light. It, I mean, that's that's Would what you they're like shooting this? for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, in other news, though, there's a, there was a TikTok trend that was going I on out of here. over the holidays. You already got it. <clears throat> of uh, fake celeb death pranks. Did you guys see any of these? No. no. So it was basically people that were like telling like their like unsuspecting like either grandmothers or mothers and dads. Um, while they're just like chilling out for the holidays, they would go like, "Oh my gosh, George Clo- George Clooney just passed away," and like it would just freak them out. And then they would be like, "Oh, it's just a prank." <laughs> well, that's mean. It, that's <laughs> what I. Said. That's, <laughs> that's what I said. I, like I, I if don't... somebody did that and said, "Coach Harbaugh just had a heart attack and passed." Away. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't usually see most good. of these before we do it, but like I saw this one earlier. That's exactly what I said. I was like, "Oh, that's a mean joke." Like that's, <laughs> that's a mean joke. But I'll, but I'll tell you what else. I don't think I don't know if I could come up with this like any single famous person that like I would get more than like a, oh man, that's too bad. Like out of yeah. my like I don't I don't think like nobody's Elvis. Like my mom's not gonna cry over anybody. Like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. You know, Hulk Hogan for me probably. 
Really? For you personally? Yeah, because when I was a kid, that was my hero. For me we, personally. We talked about this earlier. I think um, about, you know, deaths that kind of would hit us, like, kind of that hit us hard, like out of celebrities. The one that hit me hardest so far has been Paul Walker. That was for real. Mine, was, was, Kobe, real. mine was Kobe Bryant. Kobe, Kobe Bryant. because he was with his daughter, yeah. that really yeah. messed with me. Yeah. I, I, that, if it would just been Kobe, I'd be like, ah, damn, it sucks. But with his daughter? Yeah. Yeah. You know, as a father of, of three girls, you oh, yeah. understand. Oh, yeah. You know. Absolutely. Charlie Daniels is my <clears throat> too. too. Oh, Charlie. player. The guy yeah. like yeah. It, yeah. that one out of Georgia. I, fiddle's my favorite instrument. Yeah. Loved his band. Love his work. Yeah. Oh, that my f- my phone bit. blew up in 2009 when Michael Jackson passed away. Because I was a big Michael fan. You are, yeah, yeah, you were, yeah. Yeah, I can... I can do the Still Billie are. Jean dance. Yeah. You know, I might cut a rug at a wedding from here or there and do it. <laughs> but everybody was like, are you okay? And I'm like, I was on my way to a Def Leppard Poison concert in uh, Cuyahoga there. Nice. <laughs> yeah. The Blossom. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I saw it on the news. Like, it sucks. But I never met the guy. So it's chill. Yeah. I mean, at some point, <laughs> it, it, it surprises me how much it can affect you, yeah. like somebody that you never met. But at the end of the day. You've not ever met them. They're not like a family member. No, something. but it was. It was. But it, but it, it does. It, it was does the influence. It was the yep. influence that they had it, on you, which is a lot. Sometimes yeah. more than yeah. a lot of people. You know, it, Absolutely. It, it, it surprises me how. Yeah. How. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of my Bengals, did you hear that Christmas Eve they had a little bit of a scare? Hmm. Did you guys hear about this? So uh, the team plane makes an emergency landing after it loses one of its engines on oh Christmas my God. Eve. I saw We Are Marshall. Like, I, you know. <laughs> I saw We Are Marshall. And I've seen a Leonard Skinner concert. <laughs> like, I, you know, what happened? plane crashes, man. Just saying, worst case scenario, like, would the Browns move up? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> He's not ready to spit his beer up. <laughs> Just asking for a friend. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sure they appreciate your loving concern and like you know. No, I, he doesn't know this. I have Tourette's. I didn't really <laughs> work that out. Sometimes I say things and I don't cuss up and down, left and right all the time. It's pretty controlled. But I say things I so really just, don't mean. Just hypothetically, uh, you know. Oh, uh, are you kidding? That was hilarious. Well, look it up. What are the NFL rules? The <laughs> Does the team in the North move up? I, how's that work? Yeah, the Ravens would go. <laughs> Another Harbaugh team. Another Harbaugh team. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to be insensitive. No, no you get. Oh, that was hilarious. I had a that flashback so that it was 2002, was, and we could be <laughs> insensitive. It says, uh, so the Cincinnati Bengals learned a lesson about flying on Christmas Eve. It's all about the landing. After beating the New England Patriots Saturday, the players jumped on the team plane in Rhode Island. Check his heart. He might. He's not breathing. Right now. He's, he's laughing. It was hilarious. It was pretty funny. Said on the team plane in Rhode Island for a flight back home. At some point during the flight, an engine on the Delta jet conked out, and 71 minutes after taking off, the plane made an emergency landing at JFK and NYC. Hmm. So that all the, just shows all the players kind of waiting. So everybody's in the okay. Terminal. Yeah. Plane goes down in America. You know, every that happened. Days. What was a Michigan basketball a few years ago in the Big Ten tournament? Like it took off and then had to go down. And like oh really? They were all lucky. Yeah, I didn't they, know that. they end up playing the Big Ten tournament that first game in their practice jerseys because oh, everything wow. was still on the the flight for yeah. whatever reason. Evidence. Oh, like. What do they need evidence for? Like everybody walked off the plane. But, <laughs> exactly. I mean, keep the jerseys in their bed. Yeah. So like they, you know, they had a kind of same kind of scare. Hmm. Interesting. Well, plane you, goes down you don't care. America, See, you don't care because it's Michigan. See, no, that's not true. No. It's just, if it was Ohio just State, you'd be like, it. Oh my god! How long ago was it? Oh, it was just 2018. That's why Beeline was still mm-hmm. there <laughs> <B-line>. <laughs> before Howard. It was before Howard. <laughs> No, it's because it was four years. They, five, and they ended up winning five, almost five years. They ago. ended up winning four games in a row. Did they winning the Big Ten championship? Nice. Yeah. yeah. How, how's how's Michigan uh, basketball holding up this year? It's, uh, it's underwhelming. Yeah. Mm. They Is, lost every ranked team. Howard still coach. Yeah. Ohio State just got knocked out of the top twenty-five. Right. Right. But mm-hmm. they're 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 doing better, I yeah, think, yeah, than yeah, people yeah. expected. Yeah. Lost to Duke though. The girls losing to North Carolina was worse though. They had that whole game. They, they went did. to overtime and didn't. lost. Yeah. Sh- shame on me for not knowing. The for girls sure, are like, the girls are like they're really ranked third. Good. They're ranked I, third. I was going to say second or third. They're undefeated. Yeah. Uh, Florida man accused of impregnating a thirteen-year-old says voodoo made Jesus. him do it. That's sick. Yeah, fuck that guy. 
we can feed them the alligator like the last Florida man I wanted to like. I, it's it's true. fucking Florida. Let's sell it back to Spain. <laughs> sell gonna, it back to Spain. I'm going to start a petition to sell Florida <laughs> back to Spain. Like I, I'll take like twenty bucks and a handshake at this point. I swear to God. Yeah. Mm. He was forty-one. Like a coupon for like free tapas. Like uh, I don't know, understand like, why these guys can't be just locked in with like one of the Florida? biggest fucking like no 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 like these like people who do sexual abuse to yeah, children. There should be. A- why can't they be just locked in a room with like a guy like me for fucking five minutes? There should be an uh, like an Alcatraz. <laughs> there should be an island for those people. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. you're not getting to go here. You're yeah. going. There, yeah. The, because and like feeding time, they just throw it in their face because the Constitution guarantees people a right to. Oh, not here we go. Cruel and unusual yeah, punishment. Mr. Historian <laughs> and knows all the rules. And right. Knows all the rules. God, should have been a I lawyer. Get fun of for being dumb earlier. Like I paid attention in history. I paid attention in math. Like I. You know. <laughs> Like on four Christmases. Oh yeah, real cool for making fun of me for having an education. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's up on the roof, you know, trying to do the satellite. They're like, oh, I didn't know you majored in satellite at Stanford. He's like, yeah, keep making fun of me for being educated. Real cool. Yeah, real cool. And he's he's he's, yeah, he's saying the same thing. It, because because that's why. But it's a bummer. It, like it, it, it's not a bummer. It's not a bummer. It's ultimately a good thing. But like you just want like. This is why. This is why the Constitution guarantees that because we just like I would do. We just yeah. like yeah. we just like cut pieces off this guy like one at a time. <laughs> yeah, dude, I the agree. French doctor will just do it no problem. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. There's a French urologist out there. I know. <laughs> we make a call. I, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no more penis. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You, you can go home now. Reba. <laughs> Reba. My favorite one, too, of the four, for sure. It's yeah. 100% not this. Did anybody drink all of this? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you? Did. I think he did, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You can have this one, too. New. So pretty cool. <laughs> New. <laughs> all right. Last, lastly, guys, we have uh, the US, UFC betting scandal. You guys heard about this? No. I uh, get my money to my bookie, and he just... You know, tells me if I won or not. Yeah, well, this is why you didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> UFC betting scandal explained how James Krause history and unusual Vegas odds sparked investigation. Dana White's reaction. Uh, Dana White's reaction. I'll tell you what it was. Uh, Dana White's reaction to it last night when he was at a press conference. I don't know who any of those people are. Dana White owns the he, UFC. He runs it. Yeah. Okay. But um, cool. So Dana White's the reporters asked him last night. They were just like, uh, "What do you think about this whole betting scandal? You know, like, what do you what what is your take on it?" And he goes, "I don't know if you guys know this." He's like, "But this isn't something where we just give a slap on a wrist and a fine for." He goes, "If you're caught cheating in my fucking organization, you're going to fucking federal prison." And then he goes, "Federal fucking prison." Good for him. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> well, I mean, it's obviously not up to him, but like, good for him though. I mean, yeah. yeah, you don't know him or anything about him. Nope. You'd like him. You would like. I think him. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm gathering that I would. Dan, yeah, Dana White. He don't play. That's what I'd say. Yeah, mm. I like that. Yeah, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll I'll go through some of it here. Um, so it says recently the UFC implemented a policy prohibiting fighters and others from betting on UFC fights. There were questions surrounding how strict the policy would be, um, and what the limitations were when it came to fighters uh, and their camps. It looks like fans are finding out how far that reach goes. One fight from UFC Vegas 64 is currently under investigation. ESPN was the first to report that several sports books found suspicious wagering on a featherweight bout between Derek Minner and Shailene Nerdenbeek. I don't know how to say that last name. Uh, the fight, which ended with uh, the guy with the end name, uh, winning f- via first round TKO, saw betting odds dramatically increase in favor of him, uh, negative or minus 220 to minus 420 during the bout. Minner threw a left kick and appeared to injure his leg. Uh, the other guy took advantage and earned his first. Is this a long story? No, not too long. I was just how the fight ended. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, though, it's just uh, I, I don't know. I, there's a lot of shit going on with it. Dana White's response to gambling on MMA. Well, those guys are going to federal fucking prison. I'll tell you right now. Federal they fucking used, see, prison. See, Dana used his favorite word. You did. You yeah. uh, you actually used it twice tonight. I started paying attention after you. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to. Oh, that part didn't even happen or something. 
F them F and Fers. So you can use it in like four different ways. <laughs> you could. You very well. It's could. an extraordinarily versatile word. Uh, you know. You talked about that at the dinner table too, didn't you? What? How could the we appropriate use, use of fuck? Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here at the dinner. I'm like, so the guy who's the <laughs> guy, I figured that out on my own. Man. <laughs> the guy who's in the uh, in I guess under scrutiny here is was the coach by the guy who got knocked out. So okay. he was he was the betor. Okay. So uh, he's been released by the UFC. You though. connect the dots. Well, he's going to federal yeah. fucking prison. I, you know, federal fucking prison. Prison. That's what he said. There's only so. one of them. <laughs> Is there? No. Let's see. There's a lot more than one. I think. Well, I no. mean, I was just going over general. Oh. Overall, <laughs> it's not plural. Federal. <laughs> Your favorite word? Fucking prisons. Federal see? fucking prison. Done. Was it in America? Could be a different federal prison. I don't think so. I think it was. I think it was. I think it was over. Yeah, it was in America. What was your favorite beer? We know uh, R two. So we had we had the the North Filthy High McNasty. Filthy McNasty. Uh, it's the North High Brewing Company. Filthy McNasty. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. The I other like North High. They're they're pretty solid. The other beer we had was the Masthead Cleveland Brewing Company Jalapeno IPA. Don't need to talk about that that much. The other one was. I'm ranking. Pick me up here. Was the fretboard Reba Strawberry Blonde? Uh, I believe this is an ale. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last one was the Pilsner. Pilsner. You got one, right? Yeah. What is that called again? Trogs. Sunshine. Right. Oh, sunshine. 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 All that, all that sunshine. rubbing ain't gonna bring them Goldilocks back. <laughs> No, you don't understand. He's from California. California. He's a Californian. He's a ca- See, he knows his movies. <laughs> I love the, that how, movie. How, how, do you, how do you say the name that's coming? Trogues? Trogues? Trogues. Yeah, Trogues. Trogues Independent Brewing. Sunshine Pilsner was the uh, was the last one that we had. Handcrafted yeah. by the Trogues Bros. Hmm. So what's your, what was your favorite? Oh, I, I, I agree on the, what, I don't know where it went, but the Reba. The Reba is my the Reba. Yep. Reba. 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 I, I have some, I like, the Reba. I like a Russian Imperial Stout, and I have some disappointment about this one. Um, like, it's not, it's not, once again, it's not bad. Like, B is a solid grade for me. I'm sticking with sure. B. Sure. Um, you know, but it, it, it's, it's a little lacking for what I consider to be, like, the pinnacle of the, like, dark, roasty, Multi experience, it's a little lacking, and and it could be better. It's fair. What about you? What was your favorite one? The Reba. Reba. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Reba was pretty good. It's very friendly. It's very nice. The the fruit's not too in your face, but it's yeah. it's sweet and friendly. Got a thing for strawberry blondes right now. Actually, that's right. So, strawberry. Well, well, God, who not doesn't beers, like? Uh, just, yeah, no. yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So who there, you, like a nice blonde, there uh, you guys have it though. Uh, the fretboard Reba strawberry blonde. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Break open the bubbly. It's what it says on the can here. Hey, you it's asked what you could bring Saturday. Bring some strawberry blondes. I could. I'll tell you what. I could. <laughs> I could smoke a cigar and tailgate at a horse race track and like drink about nine of those. I'll tell you, no problem. Really? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I could drink a couple strawberry blondes. Yeah. Two. That's a couple. Are we talking about beer right now? It's a couplet. Oh, are we talking about beer right now? <laughs> are we oh. not talking? Are we not talking? Are we about not? Women? Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> yes. I mean, no. All right. Hey, Dobes, I want to thank you for coming on the show with us tonight, man. Always a pleasure. Yeah. This was fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having me back. And, yeah. It's a different uh, dynamic show now, isn't it? Oh, it yeah. Is. Oh, I mean, I wasn't here and, before. And I'm yeah. well, always good to see you, I guess I, I should say. I take my heroes. Approach, which is Coach Harbaugh, as you know. <laughs> and I don't like to compare things. Because when you compare, somebody gets diminished. That's and I'm, true. And, I, and I'm not true. about that. But I will say this was the best time I've had on the show. It's a good time. You catch my drift. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just accept that as a personal compliment and go fucking Buckeyes. Hey, as always, the social guys are out of here. Colin motherfucking Jarvis. Colin motherfucking Jarvis. Trey Grains. Dustin Doby coming on the show. Hey, we want to thank you guys all for uh, joining in with us tonight. Like like I always said, uh, RMG is the show sponsor. You can find us on op- Apple Pod. I can't talk now. Apple, Apple Podcasts, Podcast, Spotify, Spotify, YouTube, YouTube and iHeart Today, Junior. 
can't even read, stop which stop we me. didn't talk about. Uh, you need to start reading. I, we, I'm with it. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. How, the, what was my computer, grade? Either, what was my put, grade here? Put the computer in front of him or put him in this seat because, gosh damn it, this ain't happening again. Not on my watch. You can do it, Colin. I believe F, in you. I, gotta I believe in heart. myself. I, I don't even read books. Dude, just you read it, books. Make it about macroeconomics on fucking <laughs> Macroeconomics. Love it. Hey, social guys out of here. Later. Later. <laughs>